Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Yes. Welcome to the Top <laughs> 4 Podcast. My name is Pete. I'm an Arsenal FC fan. I'm joined by Oscar, Chelsea fan. Yay, Sarah, Sarah. Whatever will be, will be. We're going to Wembley again. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at Wembley. What a, what a weekend. What a flipping weekend, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm joined as well by Mr. Rubinho, a Manchester United fan. Gay Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> Whatever will be, will be. We're going to Wembley again. Gay Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you lot are clowns, bro. What do you mean? Uh, again. Again. <laughs> Again, un, un, <laughs> unbelievable. Big up, Hey, why don't you sing it, Oscar? Wembley's my home. Oh, what are we doing? This is like it's not our second home. To be fair, to it's be definitely fair, not. It's definitely it not. It might be. It might be in June. Depends how well he does. Oscar, let's let's have it. Let's keep it. <laughs> oh, is the champion? Oh, yeah. Is the champion? Yeah. Is the champion? Is the First of all, the champion. Uh, secondly, <laughs> fourteen FA Cups, Oscar. Huh? How many times do you think we've been to Wembley? How many? Yeah, but we're, uh, come on, man. Let's let, uh, we're talking about the FA Cups post World War Two. Post World War Two. Post World War Two. Right. Yeah. Oh, when did the FA Cup begin? One hundred and twenty-seven <laughs> years. I knew that was for years. Old, mate. It is the oldest, com- <laughs> oldest competition old in the world. How many? Yeah. How many like, Arsenal's FA Cups. Like, what are we saying? What do you mean we got? We got the most. What are we doing? Yeah, yeah but like, yeah, but like, what are we actually saying? I'm okay. just googling it now. In your life, you probably yeah. won about ten. In your lifetime, you probably won about ten of them. Yeah, you won there. My, I think Chelsea won more in my lifetime than yours. Steady. <laughs> Steady. All right, look, 1929, 30, 1935, 36. <laughs> yes. Okay, from there, from there, it's, from there is 1949-50, which I'll allow. Wow, you will allow the why right, because that's when you want it, you mug. We will start in 1950. That's, that's <laughs> flipping out, guys. I'll tell you what, this is a very highlighted moment. How about your highlight of the weekend, Pete? So let's uh, let's let's get into it. Uh, Oscar Robinho, what is your highlight of the weekend? Uh, well, basically, I had a very, very good weekend. Friday yeah. celebrating the cousin's birthday. Hey, so we nice. got to pick up the wife for that. Ended up in Croydon. Sorry about that. Myth. <laughs> Croydon. Myth. Croydon. I was in Box Park, Croydon. Wow. Yeah. I've never been to uh, Box Park. I heard it's, it's the yeah, way it's good. It, it, it is good. However, this is when I realised I'm old because they were playing tunes. And you know, like, bad tunes and all that stuff. And none of these kids knew it. And I was just like, oh. ah. I'm old now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I was like, am I the only one on the dance? But there was other older people, so I just I just came with I was dancing with them a lot. So I said, like, yeah. <laughs> Mess of the oldest come true that that, that same yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. still. Um Oscar, what was your highlight of the week? Oh mate, it's a it's a tough one because I think football was fantastic this weekend. Mm. Every game I turned on, there was a story, there was something going on. And, and I looked at the weekend, and guys, to be honest, I have to be honest with you, I looked at this weekend with disgust. Because you know what it's like when 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 the Premier League's off, and, or half on, half off, you know, the FA Cup games just aren't normally as exciting, you know. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see the vision. I didn't buy into what this weekend could be. I didn't see <sighs> Wolves versus Coventry and think what, 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 what it could be. I didn't oh, see... What's the game? Oscar, the oh. sixth round of the FA Cup. That's why it's called the sixth. It's not called the quarters. It's called the sixth round. There's a reason. I, I can't lie. Sixth yeah. round is dead. No, that's a great. Nah, great. Yeah, uh, finals, uh, because when you, when, you say, when, when you say that you've got to the sixth round, I think there's another one. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, what? There's another round? But I love that. I don't know what it is. I love that idea that the sixth round is the quarterfinal. I think that's class. No, because that. why am I counting? What? what? No, it's the quarterfinal, all right? Um, so, yeah, it, lovely. Enjoy, enjoyed all the quarterfinals. Um, yeah, man, it was a fa- fantastic weekend. Happy, happy St. Patrick's Day to those who celebrate, you know? It was oh, great. Yeah. St. Paddy's. We do love a St. Paddy's. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. oh, another thing. I spent I spent the week since our last pod. I spent the week in Rotterdam. Um, that was great. Yeah. That was my highlight, my personal highlight. This uh, I was kid. traveling, right doing a bit of work, travel, and it was, it was fun, man. So it's good to I get around. No, do you know what's now? This is the third week in a row. Every time we start, 
my camera just freezes. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, you're frozen, yeah. Robin. <laughs> it's always does it. Like every yeah. every fi- at the fifth minute. I don't know why. <laughs> no, absolutely. Anyway, I'll, tell I'll you be what. back in two secs. <laughs> I'll be back. Fair play. Um, and there's so many highlights, Oscar, of the week. There's so many to talk about, okay? Yeah, but man, I'll tell place. you what. I was in Manchester, actually. Uh, Rubinia just jumped off. I was in Manchester in the week. On what are you doing off the money? Mancunian way off the Oldham Road. I was literally minutes from the Etihad. Uh, but I wasn't going there for any football purposes, people. I was going out there to praise the Lord, literally. Like, literally went to a conference. Like, it was a conference. Me and the wifey, we had, a, we had some time away. It was lit. We got the was press on the gang. Was it on a Thursday? It went from tu- it was on Tuesday to Thursday. Did you have to take days off work? Yeah. yeah. Bro, I ain't never yeah. seen that before. Why did you weekend? Obviously, that. obviously, uh, that was on the, on the hills, off the back of the hills of Arsenal going through to the last eight of the Champions League. Oscar, mm. scenes of glorious emotion. And you know one thing I realized as well? You know what we need in fo- you know what Sky Sports needs? What's that? You, you want to talk about you know, you know, co-commentators are so important to a football match experience. I don't think people yeah. understand. All right. Okay? And if you haven't got the right football, like the right um co-com, it, it can go downhill from there. Mm. Oscar Ali McCoist was on oh. some serious form on Tuesday. Ali McCoist. Oh my god, in the fields. Oh, Pete, the- do you know what's so, do you know what's special about Ali McQuist? Yeah. Because I feel like when we started watching football, all of the people that were broadcasting and commentating have now retired from that moment. Ali McCoist is the last of that breed. Still going, yeah. Ali McCoist is still going. Ali McCoist, correct me if I'm wrong, Peter. Ali McCoist was the co-commentator on FIFA 99. Wow. I'm going to have to Google that because I may have just wow. lied to you. But I'm pretty Listen. sure if I Google this... He's been... You know what? When you put it in them, them context, he's been there a while. And oh. the thing is, I don't know what it is about the Scottish accent, Oscar. Like, we grew up on Andy oh. Gray. Do you know what I'm saying? It's and brilliant. there's something about it. It's brilliant. There's something about it, man. I don't know what it is. Oscar, his co-com for the Trossard goal against Porto. It was phenomenal scenes, Jeff. He he, he broke it down great. so good. And, and do, do you know what's so great about Ali McCoy? He loves football. He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. He, loves it. he absolutely loves it. You're not wrong. So, yeah, that, that for me was what was a, uh, uh, yeah, my big highlight of the week. Being in Manny. I'm sure. I'm sure Rubinho. I should have, you know, Rubinho. I should have given him a shout. But I was, I was on the Oldham Road, Mancunian Way. Yeah, do you know what I mean. I was just down the road, man. I was down the road. Uh, but yeah, that was. Uh, I, think my... I can confirm that on FIFA 99, uh, we did have John Motson as the main presenter, and we had Ali McCoy as the co-commentator. Wow! <laughs> Salute to Ali. Money? Protect that man. Say again. What are you doing, the money? I was at a prayer conference, like not even a prayer. Co- yeah, prayer, prayer, Jace. It was a prayer conference, though. How can prayer, Jace? How can you prayer, Jace? <laughs> prayer, Jace. We prayed in it, yeah. Prayer, but, like, other things. We prayed in it, but other things happened. Like, do you know what I mean? So it weren't just prayer, but like, yeah. Okay, so we got the prayer That sounds lit, man. That sounds lit. Next that time you're lit, rolling probably. to one of these, you got you got to spread, spread love. It's the Brooklyn way. Well, bring bring man in, yeah. At least let, 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 let somebody know it's happening. Let, let, let a brother know. Yeah, right. I, mean, I, was gonna, cool. I was gonna say that, but I thought let me just chill. Let What's it chill. called? Um Rubinho, bro. Olden Road, man. Olden Road, Way. I was all over it, bro. I was all over it. All over the gaff. It's a hard Prayer conference. One... Just go church. Huh? <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> so you gotta go deep. You get me? You gotta get deeper. You know what I mean? Sundays are blessed, don't get me wrong. But sometimes mm. you gotta go, you know what I'm saying. You take time off work, bruv, all day. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that was my highlight. I was glad that you were close to the glorious emotion that happened at Old Trafford. But we will get there soon. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we will get there. there. <laughs> we will get there. The Etihad. I didn't realise how close I was to the Etihad till I left. So mm. I'm, I'm leaving to head out. And then I noticed that the Etihad was like literally another mile away from where I was. And I was like, good grief. Um, but anyway. Do you get the Virgin up there? You, you don't love rain. You don't just love rain. We do love okay. rain. When I tell you, it, the showers came among us. Like from the minute we stepped, you know that we got into like Chester. 
<laughs> like I'm on the I'm on the M6. You know what I'm saying? We're getting into Chester. Well, I'm like, yo, come on. Well, Manchester's built in a giant valley. People don't get that. So that's why it rains all the time. Hmm. In the valleys. Interesting. I'll be, all right, guys. I'll be back in Manchester this year. So oh no, no, I won't be. Never mind. Well, I won't what? be in Manchester. No, Why no, did no. you think you I, got, I got a work conference that was in Manchester last year, so I went to that. But that conference is now no longer in Manchester, so sorry, I won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Can I get through some of these comments, Pete? Let's do this, baby. Uh, now Peter's frozen. What are you lot doing? How am I frozen? No, he's there. Oh, now you're back. You're back. You were you were frozen. You were frozen. <laughs> uh, let's you, talk. Let's get the let's get yeah, the people. Yeah, you're moving like Madonna in '99. You were frozen. Assad says another week where Chelsea concede multiple goals, but off to Wembley we go, guys. I think it was like what three weeks ago, not even a month ago. I was furious with this club, telling you I'm never going to support them anymore. I'm not going to spend any more money. I'm never going to do it again. <laughs> He searched. He searched. <laughs> he searched for the tickets this morning. We're back. We're back at Wembley. I, I, do you know what? Do you know what? You might catch me at Wembley. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> ah, look at this guy. City, city. Oh, he was horrible. Come on, man. I don't know. That's good. City. You gotta go, Oscar. Oscar, you got to go to Wembley, man. Stop being that look, guy. Look, we will. Uh, Talk, don't tell me about that guy. I've been, Chelsea been the last four times Chelsea been to Wembley. I was there. Don't tell me about being that guy. I've been else? that guy. Bro, I was there, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the only time we won was the semi final against Palace. Um. Anyway, that says hold tight. Top four podcast. Hold tight, you now. Uh, also, you yeah. man need to listen to Antwerp and Dutch rap. It's wavy. Uh, do you know what? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you go looking for music. I'm gonna let that one find me. Yeah. <laughs> when it finds no, me, I, 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 I'm, I'm all for oh, international music. You know, you know when some the lyrics you don't understand what they say, but they hit you because yeah, it just sounds lit. <laughs> I'm a let it find me. Like I went to the Netherlands this week. It, if you told me that last week, maybe I would have did that to get in the. Did movie. you enjoy the architecture though? The, you are spot on, bro. The, the way these <laughs> men build buildings is crazy. They're just like, <laughs> oh, a building could go straight up and be a rectangle, but nah, we ain't on that. We're gonna have a cube hanging off the side. We're gonna have, they just test the limits of physics in every building they create. It Oscar, doesn't make any sense. Oscar, we're a football podcast, so I've got two very important <laughs> questions for you. Number one, did you go visit the Dekite? Why not? The Dekite, the board. Oh, and did you visit Sparta Rotterdam as well? I can tell you. Tell me you did I, I didn't visit either of those things. Oh, I didn't visit the ball. Guys, I was uh, guys, guys. I was I was on a work trip. I was making towns. We got to the arena. We we we, we had our food. We went. We sat in gorilla. We went out there. We did what we had to do. We got back in the truck and we came home. That's that's how we did it. I was making towns. You know what I mean? Come I was working. On. I was working. Listen, I was at pleasure. I have to say, I have to say, boss man. If there's one thing I can get out of Suva, let me get to the the final shop. You know what I'm saying? Let me grab something. That stadium um, is beautiful. The, the, they're saying to me, Oscar and Rotterdam, did you go to the si them sideway houses near Erasmus Bridge? Hey, did you? Did you? I don't know what that is. No. Yeah, there's some side. There's sideways, literally houses built on the side. I was, yeah. I was by, I was by the water. I was by the waterfront. Did, I don't no, know I'm saying, did you see that? Did you see the really, really fancy bridge that looks like it points like a sundial? I basically. saw a bridge. <laughs> I'm asking Google these things. I'm I'm a Google yeah. the Rasmus hey, Bridge. Rabinia, you been to Rotterdam? You're damn right. <laughs> wow. I was there for what? I was there for what? Oh, oh yes, I did see the Rasmus Bridge. Yeah, I was all up on this. That bridge, is on lit. This bridge. That bridge is lit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Rasmus Bridge was cold. I was. <laughs> I had dinner right by the Rasmus Bridge, but I didn't see the Sagwe's houses though. Oh, he was on the Hoyland Bridge. Okay. <laughs> 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 got a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me run through these comments again, boys. Let's uh, go. Keep the comments coming. We're going to read them all out. Tarsus, yeah. big up top four podcast. Just got home from the gym in time for the pod. Uh, I wasn't preying mandem like AD. Oh, wow. I'm still. But AD's on I'm his still way, still by the way. I, I know some of you came here for the Adrian pack, and it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> what did what did what did, Taha, what did was, was it Taha that went gym? Yeah, he went gym. I, I, I want to hear that workout. Let's 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 get let's did get to business. I I I posted my workout. <laughs> I did a circuit today on Insta. 
You oh, it's a circuit. I'm a watch that. No, no. I just what, are, you, are you 15? A circuit. A circuit. No, it was a circuit pop by my my PT instructor. It was yeah, it was cool. PTs, blood. Rubina's got PTs, you know. Is that is that like is that is that uh it's not personal? It's like a, you can go oh, like okay. that's that that stuff. Oh, okay. the work thing. Yeah. 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 Let me pre the let me pre the circuit, man. All right, go uh, on. It's it's called horrible hundreds, and you'll see why. Horrible hundreds. Horrible hundreds. Uh, I'm off this activist got me leading over. I don't know what activist is. Shout out to Nat, he's off the activist. Uh, Taha says, Late top four podcast. Hey, hey, better late than never. Better late than never. Hey. Nat says, Uh, Venga got some more FA Cups than certain clubs. Please. I lied. Tell hey. them that. Tell them. He's not lying. Hey, mine. Uh, I'll tell you that. Taha says, Post <laughs> AD hiding like Liverpool yeah. AD over here. Shout out to Endo, who's not hiding. Brother Peter, you had a mini high top the other day. Now you've gone back to the one black man trim. Route one black. <laughs> Route one. <laughs> Listen, I'm going for that Route one, yeah. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? I got. Heavy business to deal with this week, yes. Yeah. So I go for the route one, you know what I'm saying, and then you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'll let you know in due course. Asad says, Many men have had stinkers on FPL. Look, I'm one of the many men. Uh, oh, Asad, when we get to the Chelsea topic, I have a question for you. I've got I'm, something to tell I'm you. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm pre I'm pre Robinho's Insta, right? Yeah, a hundred kettlebell swings, a hundred yeah. box jumps, a yeah. hundred V sits. Yeah, 50, 20, is that, is that 20 minute or, or meters? Meter, 20 meter. 20 meter shuttle. shuttle. Oh my God. 100, shuttle, meter, oh. 100 wall balls, 100, what's a G2OH? Uh, ground to overhead with a kettlebell. Uh, uh, so. uh, <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> nah, this workout is not for, it's for this, man, are you, are you, are you with David Goggins? Is he your personal trainer? <laughs> Are you David Goggins? No, so ah! obviously you can't do it as a one because that's that'll kill you. So you do it with a partner and you just split how much you want to do in between. But you have oh. to hit 100. That's dope, it. man. That's dope. Gives you the, the motivation to keep going. Um, just, just while <laughs> we're on the just while we're on the gym section of this podcast, Taha said he was doing chest, shoulders, and triceps. Okay. Shoulders and tries. Okay. I hear it, I respect it. I respect Pre the Insta, your big age is crazy. What does that mean? Oh, I, I'm I, to I, want to pre, I want to pre the age. The age? Pre my Insta. Page, 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 page. To my story. Yeah, to well, why story. is that? Well, you follow each other. Why would that be weird? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's really get, don't really get what, what man was trying to say. Um, yeah, shout out to Nat, who's loving uh, Ali McQuist. Yeah. So, and and though, do you see kettlebells? It's the one thing I can never actually ever get right. Really? No, because I try very different techniques and it still messes up my lower back. I have done that and oh, oh it's, like, it's just whatever. Every time I do kettlebell swings, after about 30, 40, my lower back is like, you need to stop. Your lower back? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what are you like with deadlifts and squats? Uh, and squats and deadlifts, deadlifts are fine. Overhead press, fine. So it doesn't affect your lower back? It's literally just kettlebells. Wow. Just, uh, guys. Yeah. We're 18 minutes into the top four. <laughs> <laughs> you said it's the gym segment. You said it's the gym segment. Kettlebells and squats. <laughs> on the craziest footballing weekend as well. Uh, Mirad says, good evening to the greatest football podcast air on a Monday night. When Liverpool fans have gone AWOL, absent without holding the L. L. Oh, in love the veins. I in love the veins. You know what, yeah? I love that so much. I didn't even realize it doesn't make any sense, but yes, where's <laughs> home? Where's home? Great, it's a great well, no without comment. without 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 is one word. It's one word. Uh, but it could work. It could work. It's one word. It can work. work. He's reached. It there. Can I'm gonna work. let him know that he reached. No, no, is, no, you're being harsh. You're being harsh. No, just ironic. No, just ironic. Just funny. The thing he picked out was the without being one word. He didn't pick up the fact that holding the is <laughs> eight, 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 Listen, this is a great comment. It's a great comment. Let me be clear. Uh, I'm for it. Look, Oscar's, look, look. Oscar's got a bee in his body because he's got Mad City in the next round. That's why he's leaving. <laughs> That's what that is. That's what that is. <laughs> Don't take it to heart. Look, Mirad's a great commenter. I'm sure he'll have another brainwave and make something greater than that. You know, I believe in him. But that one, 
we're going back to the drawing board, my friend. Think no, pieces no, 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 about no, no. winning the quadruple. Uh, United Ooh. being an easy team. They'll lose mm. at Old Trafford again in the PL. Klopp's demise is here wow. and now. I need it. Wow. I need it. I said I need I'm like, it. You, I'm like you, Oscar. I didn't feel like I needed it until after I had it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Nah, hey, Robinho. If you I'm guys good. can do a job in the league. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my days. Asad, uh, uh, Asad, uh, yeah. <laughs> Taha said, when he was talking about me going to Wembley, he said, maybe you're the bad luck. Stay at your <laughs> <laughs> Asad says, uh, Taha might be on something. Oscar, just do a box park thing. Don't go to the game. <laughs> and I say, don't go, fam. That's cool. If I don't go to the game, the last place I'll be is box park with that seven pound a pint nonsense. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not there for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, Oscar, I think Oscar, a colleague from work came back from Italy the other day. They mm. paid 10 euros for a pint. <laughs> no, what are we doing? First of all, first of all, daily hits, my G. You can't daily hit workouts are a killer. Daily. Shout out to you, Baraka, bro. Your, your body's gonna die. Your body's just gonna. Dude, say, what are you not training for? Like, <laughs> shout, shout out that. Shout on that with a one punch man reference. I got that. Mm. <laughs> uh, gen genuine question, guys. How often do you get trims? Um, every every two weeks. What if, oh, I could. Could. Huh? if oh, no, 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 I'm, a, if, I'm with Oscar. Though. If I can, yeah, it's two, I to three. Every two. Three. two to three. Yeah, okay. like, I'm, I'm in a weird predicament right now because I'm due a trim, so I should get a trim this weekend, but then the weekend after, I'm going on holiday. So I need to get the trim before the holiday. So do I get it now or do I, you know what I mean? Oh, you bite, the bullet, bite, bite, bite the bullet, bite the bullet, get it today, boy. Sorry, guys, we have to we have to go back to the to the gym segment of the podcast, and that says a hundred sit ups, push ups, and squats. Um, but we, we need to introduce a new man to the panel, a man who's just been oh. at the gym, and it turns out he's Bang torn his banging. quad. He's torn his quad. Hey. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna Kevin Nash team. <laughs> wait, wait, what just did? What's going on? I, I went, no, I went too mad, you know. Do you know what it is? What's, what's the bad thing? Let me see. Let me see. No, that's, that's a bit of a cool, Give me a little side profile. Hey, side 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 did you just grow in seven days? What? No, I can't. <laughs> when did I shave it? No, I shaved it on Wednesday. What? So do you always... How can I... Do you always just shave off your beard? No, I've never shaved off. I ain't shaved off in years. Oscar, he's always had the... No, he's, talking about, he's talking about the sides, the, the side, the side. I need to go back to last week's podcast because I can't actually... I don't remember what you look like. No, no. <laughs> got, I'm got, like, got, what the heck does Adrian look like normally? This is I've interesting. Got, I've got mixed reviews, to be fair. Man is saying you look like Serge Ory. My brother, do you know what it was, yeah? I had, I, had, I, had, I had a client meeting. <laughs> My beard was looking too nonsense, was looking too raggedy. I had to do something new. You know what I mean? I had to, to be called Serge Aurier is mad. Is oh, mad. mad. Yeah, yeah. I, I was going for Adama, though. You know how Adama's got the. Yeah. <laughs> you love him, don't okay. you? You love what him. Do you know what bro, you love? PMP. That, you know I love PMP, bro. You know, you know I, 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 love love him. Him. I had to go back to. The old last week's podcast just to see what Adrian looked like to understand what the changes because my brain is didn't it, come is it different? Like, do I look mad different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look mad different. You look oh, very wow. different. Oh, what was better? No, <laughs> 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 oh, you look fire last week. You know <laughs> that's crazy. Hey, that's hey, crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oscar, you don't go gym, bro. It's okay. I, I'm off. I'm off gym right now. You know, I'm, Oscar, I'm, yeah. Oscar goes gym. to the gym three times a year. That's not true. That's oh, and it's, and it's three cow. days back to back, and then he's that's done. Cow. When I'm when I'm on gym, I'm a serious man for about six months, and then I just stop. Six months. Yeah, every time I'm I've gone to gym, it's been like it's been like a, a good stretch. I'm giving you three months. I'm not going back. I'm not in the gym though. No, I'm saying I'm giving you three months. I, your your stint is three months. My God, <laughs> 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 
Man said it's a three month contract. Ernie, <laughs> uh, uh, you know what it is? Certain wise, you just have to hold it for, for, for the better good. Wait, how, wait hold on, hold on. He just says, ask him which one is better as a white. Why is it a white? That's, that's a crazy why. I can't, you can't ask the man, them, how does my beard look? That's what? That's, why. that's preposterous. I can't is believe it. I can't believe I asked. Okay, I what don't up? Know. Trim? I don't what know. Trim? I don't know about that one. All of it. All of it. So I can't say, yo, what do you think? My hair looks better like this or like that. You can't ask the man them. You, you can ask your barber. No. You can ask your barber. I no, barber why can I ask my barber but not the man them? Because the barber is there. That's his job. Yeah, but he's, 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 he has an agenda. He's getting paid. Are the man them getting paid? Are the man them getting paid? I don't have no agenda. Really? <laughs> 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 a man said side profile is a Y. I said it's not a YG. Okay, well, look, shout out All to right. everybody in the comments. Keep them coming. But Adrian, what's your highlight of the weekend? Yeah, let's highlight of the weekend. When I when I when I turn the TV off. I was gonna say the bark at Old Trafford. That was the highlight of my weekend. I, t- I turned I turned it off. And then I started listening, and then I started listening to free shots of tequila. That was my highlight of the week because I needed some laughter, bro. You know what? This defeat it hit me like no other. You know, <laughs> bro, Let's I, get into it. I felt Let's get empty. Into it. I felt empty. I don't know. Carry on from there, AD. Manchester United four, Liverpool three. Manchester United are through to the semi final oh. of the FA Cup Did at the expense of, of the Liverpool Reds. What what a game! Oh, we're going, we're going straight there. We're going live and direct to the big... Listen, he, okay. man, the guy said uh, he, this resort has never hit him like no other. We have to go there. I, he, <laughs> he was pacing up and down <laughs> at home. The AD, what the, the hell there. happened? What the hell oh. happened? You know what? You know what? In all, in, all, in all honesty, it was a cup game, wasn't it? It was, bro, like... Bro, Eric Sen Hag just threw caution to the wind. You know, like... <laughs> Sean Michaels, Michaels, WrestleMania. He's doing the backflip out. He's doing a muso outside uh, because you know, like Sean Michaels doesn't do a muso all year. <laughs> this WrestleMania is when the all white. He's doing muso to the outside. Undertaker's doing a big dive. I saw Bruno Fernandez at center half for crying out loud. Uh, no, 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 was at left back. Harry Maguire was at one. I, I, I know, no, Adrian. I need to stop you there. I want to play a game of Peter. Can you name me the finishing start in 11 and their positions? No, just, I'll be, can be I keep, okay. <laughs> can I, I've got a confession to make. The start I've got a confession, oh, confession to make. He's not watching the game. Big thing. When I tell you, I have, not, I have not seen an ounce of football this weekend. Not <laughs> one crumb. Not one, not, not, nothing. Well, well, that's that's right. Right. Let me, let me, you missed you missed the greatest FA Cup game ever. Let me let me, let me really? tell you Peter is because he's here to talk about it like he watched it. Listen, <laughs> I'm gonna keep that all the way a thousand to the mass. I won't lie. Not one goal have I seen this weekend. Not one minute of football have I seen this weekend. I barely you know what do you know what do you know what turned me off, right? Whoa, do you know what turned yeah, me off? Just... The Arsenal women wearing blue socks at Stamford Bridge. Oh I was done. my! I was done oh my gosh! I was, I was saving it for not that guy. I was saving that for the not that guy. I was saving that for not that guy because somebody, yeah. somebody has to done. catch a barrel of abuse for that one. Oscar, you know what though? I, anyways, oh. anyways, I, I, can't know, speak. I'm, I'm going to tell you. Let me tell I'm, you. I'm going to tell one, but... you who who the uh, the yeah, uh, talk to me, talk to me. the finish oh. eleven. So obviously Nalo's in goal at mm-hmm. left at right back was Dello. <laughs> your your right centre half was Bruno Fernandez. Right centre half. <laughs> yeah, so your your right <laughs> your left centre half. Was Christian Eriksen. <laughs> your what left back. Hearing? Your left back was Anthony. What? I'm not lying. <laughs> I was, he not plays lying. on the right wing. He was like left back. <laughs> I was, he was. That's probably the best. I probably the best I've ever seen him in the yeah. United. Oh, no, 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 Peter, Peter, Peter. He he, he tried to argue against the, the manager about this. There's a whole video about it. But you got told go left. Back. It it worked. Anyways, left. Left wing was Garnacho. Right wing was Ahmad Diallo. 
Uh, McTominay Mount was your midfielders. Rashford at the ten, and Harry Maguire as your number nine. Nah, you're you're making it up. You're making I'm it up. not making it up. <laughs> I'm making it up. I'm not making it up. Can you confirm or deny? No, it was kind of been as we, but we saw all sorts. There was times where you see that back <laughs> that he mentioned. There was times it was like a back two. I saw Lindelof on a, on a on a left wing winning corners. The, the commentator said to me, Mason Mount, this is his first game since was it November the 29th. Yeah, yeah, that's um, true, man. Shout out yeah. to my boy Mason, how long, man. He's back. How long did he play? He, uh, he only played extra time. time. He came in extra time, so he only played like he came 15 in minutes. at extra time. Yeah. That, that that tells me what kind of game. Honestly, Peter was kind of like, I think, I think you know what? Did, did, no, did Peter, know what? There, there was zero tactics in this game. From no, both I wish, I'll be honest. I do wish I watched all of the football this weekend because it was a blockbuster of a weekend, really especially for FA Cup action. Bro, Just Eric Ten Hag basically out. said, "He basically said I want to down like it was Eric Ten Hag almost, almost. It felt like he played that game. It was like if I don't win this game tonight, I'm going to get sat. I'm going to lose my job, guys. Please do something. He threw <laughs> push into the win like I've never seen before. He said, "You know what." We either lose seven four or we win three four. Like it was one of them ones. It was genuinely one of them ones. And and I'll say this: this was probably one of our best games in a minute. Really, I will say that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is, quite is, what AD, is, AD, is what AD saying true? Do you reckon it was one of those games where Ten Hag was like, "Look, I'm throwing everything at this game because it's, no, it's, no, no, it's he, 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 he did a madness." So, before we get back to Adrian, I'll, I'll go how the game went. He went, first he went ten minutes. Kitchen first ten minutes. Manchester United were on top of Liverpool, and we got a goal. Scott McTominay got off a rebound off Bruno Fernandez. <laughs> one nil. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys <laughs> put your mind to the gutter, yeah, man? <laughs> to be fair, you did say on top of Man, on top of Liverpool. Ah, uh, mm. uh, 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 we're not twelve. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> and then what you call it after a good twenty minutes? The, the, the typical Man United came up. It's like, okay, we can only play good for 20 minutes. And then we started giving the ball away. Liverpool were coming back again. So they had an offside goal at the start. And then literally two minutes or three minutes before halftime, two back-to-back goals from Liverpool. And I'm just thinking, all right, here we go. They, we've gone from 1-0 down to two. Yeah, 1-0 up to 2-1 down in the space of three minutes. And then, if I'm very honest, I don't know what happened in the second half. <laughs> because there was just moments where both teams were just at it, going back and forth, missing chances left, right and centre. I don't know how many chances in total, but I think Man United had one more chance than Liverpool in the stats, like an overall game, like end mm-hmm. end stuff. And then, do you know what happened to me? I'm going to go through the motions. He said he's going to bring Anthony on. I lost my mind. I said, why the heck are you bringing Anthony on? I was cussing this guy. I was saying, this guy is not it. I almost so tweeted. You're going to take up. <laughs> I, I, said, you know, I said, Kyle's going to say game over, all that stuff. What does he do? He dunks on Big Verge. And he uses he uses his trademark Bay Bay spin and finishes it with his right foot, Peter. Not his left. <laughs> with his right the foot. Right. Makes right. it <laughs> with his right foot. And what you call it, it was 2-2. And then then we got to the last kick of the game. Uh, Ericsson plays a wonderful ball all the way across, finds Rashford, where I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, we're going to win here. Guess what Rashford does? Slots it, goes wide. Goes wide. I literally said, okay, we've lost it. I said, there, we've lost the game. Because I was like, there is no way we can do another 30 minutes it's, with this Liverpool team and all that stuff. Uh, I digress. We, we get to the 105th minute. Uh, Harvey Elliott scores. I'm thinking, that ah, game over, what to call it. Whew. And then he makes it up. He makes it up, Marcus Rashford. He takes the ball. 
Sublime assist from Darwin Nunes, by the way. I haven't forgot that. Sublime. It was absolutely sublime. Gives the ball away. Finds Scott McTominay. Past Rashford. Slots it in. 3-3. Free, free. Now, in my mm. head, I'm thinking, oh, this is going to penalties, you know? And I was like, I'm not too, too sure who's going to win this because it was Kelleher in goal and he was having a very good game. And I can't trust Onana. <laughs> so it was just like, <laughs> if, if this goes to penalties, it, it, it is a wrap. But Robin, no, Robin, do you know what, yeah? Yeah. Onana's got that theatrical gene. He's got that, that, not, not imposter syndrome. What's the word I'm looking for? Like he's 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 a narcissist. He's just a madman. He's, he's a madman. Mad man. Well, he's a, he's <laughs> the type of guy to save three penalties in a row. He's a such a showman. You know, he's so he's so theatrical. It's all about him. So he's you know, such a showman. Do you know what? Yeah, I gotta give him his his uh, his pr- not props, but like his due because we haven't really mentioned him on this podcast for about three or four months, and that's what it's, you want from it's a goalkeeper. Been a hot minute. It's it's like, just, just stop. Just uh, you should never be a headline. The guy was a headline consistently for the, for the, for the first two, three months in, in this league. Crazy. And then last kick or extra time, Liverpool get a corner. They set all the big dons up. All, all the little ones on the pitch for in. They cross the ball in. Gets deflected. It gets to Harvey Elliott. And then here comes. The man who we've been crying to play the pitch, Amadiello, takes the ball off him, runs across a whole pitch length, two on one with Garnacho, passes it in, and he slots it in. And I kid you not, one word, Pete, limbs, just limbs. Limbs of glorious emotion. Limbs of glorious emotion. Mm. Got sent off, by the way. <laughs> One yeah. because he, he had a silly cha- got silly challenge. Yeah, second, second yellow. A yellow card. Showed him the yellow card in the first place. It was a very random challenge. But obviously, he took a shirt off and showed it. So that was his second yellow. So, so he got sent off. Okay, wait. All right. <laughs> let's let's break this down. So he was on a yellow card. He scored a goal. He celebrated. He took his shirt off. Yeah, <laughs> on a yellow. Yeah. Yeah. That's not. That's not <laughs> I mean, I, 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 he, no man. He, no, he, he wouldn't be the first. He wouldn't be the first. Um, um, correction, Ahmad. He's only FA Cup red cards transferred to the Premier League, so he's yeah. not missing. He was not missing anyway. reference. Yeah, that's what, so, which yeah. is better. Which is which is better for his case. <laughs> for for he, he wasn't gonna play. He wasn't gonna play. Was he? Yeah, yeah, he wasn't gonna play Brentford. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm glad for that. Now you got them. Yeah. Is it Brentford in the league? Yeah, we've got Brentford next in the league. But Do you know what, what one thing I did enjoy about Ahmad's goal is you know, in his celebration, he, he did the he did a nice celebration where he takes off his shirt and shows it to the crowd to say, hey, you know, this is who I am, in case you didn't know. Um, but what I love, there's a kid in the crowd who's basically like crying. Oh, the kid. <laughs> the kid the was kid. Yeah. <laughs> limbs, yeah. Old Trafford went crazy. And it, it was weird okay. because obviously we don't we don't really see these cup games between two big teams as often as you would like. And when you do yeah. see it, it's like, I don't know, if it's a third round Man City versus Arsenal, you're all playing second squads. No one's really going for it. Mm. But because, mm. you know, the two clubs, the animosity is there, it's, you know, one of Klopp's final... Times to miss the Wembley it's tournament. It's a little bit. Yeah, yeah it was just it was, both teams wanted it, man. Both teams really wanted it, and you felt that, and the players were feeding off the crowd's energy. So it was a huge, huge game. Um, yeah, man, big, good, good one to watch, man. Real good one to watch. Glad to see, glad to see the FA Cup held with some esteem. Oh, the magic PR. The magic is the back magic. after this weekend. Uh, but yeah. AD, then. Oh. What, what does AD have to say on this then? After after oh. Rabinia's breakdown analysis of the game. AD, I mean, what, where, where are you left? Where are you left at this moment in time? Oh, complete, complete and utter disarray. And I think that's the, that's the beat of the cup, isn't it? Like it was, it was a, it was a roller coaster. It was end to end, swashbuckling stuff. The commentators almost lost, were losing their breath just commentating in the game. Never mind being playing in that game. Never mind. Who is who the comes? I don't even know. I don't even know, mate. I think it was oh. it Danny Murphy? It was Danny Murphy one of them? Come on, guys, give it to me. Who was on comms? What channel was it on? It was ITV. It was ITV. ITV? 
I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, was, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't watch it at home, so I wasn't listening. To is, that, what, is, that, is that like a? Is that like a Simon? Uh, Hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Simon to you, I, remember I, I remember I liked an ITV poster. I'll probably find it. Yeah, Sam, Sam Matface is one of the worst commentators in, in our game. But anyway, continue. Well, what, what, what I will say is the commentator didn't really add, or it didn't really take away, to be fair. But yeah, man, it was it was literally, I, I, think, I think the word I used was swashbuckling. Man. I didn't use it. I'm going to use it now. Um, edge of your feet. You know what? You see, you see? And and, 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 I, th- and I think for me, I think I ever said something about, I think I said something in the in the group. Um, th- this is when the game was in play. And I said, you know what? Man United should just do a thing where, just, 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 just do a youth thing, man. Just like go, like just accept, accept it for what it is, um, and build, build your squads around your Hoylands, build your squad around your your Kobe Manies. I mean, go, go, go. You know, and I think you know, you know, because sometimes I find myself harshly critiquing Garnacho. And what I'm, he, I'm, he, he he had a fantastic game. Never stopped running, mm-hmm. all that stuff. I thought he was one of our best players on the pitch. He was just, 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 like, like for me, like he doesn't he doesn't necessarily fill me with excitement and uh, and for me his final end product winds me up and, and and he's a player I genuinely I just don't know I don't know what it is about him I just genuinely do not like him but then I, I watch a game like that and I think you know what like the kid the, like the kid the, the kid's twenty he's a live wire he's direct he, he tries to make things happen and you if I'm a United fan I'd hope that his quality will eventually match his enthusiasm one day and you know he's got three or four years before he's sort of starting to begin to enter his prime you know what I mean and then obviously with, with, with injuries come in if you can get sort of smarter with the recruitment you know explore Europe you know if you have to go Holland if you have to go Belgium if you have to go I don't know Anyway, anyway, really, you know, I'll be Salzburg, whatever, whatever, whatever it may be, and um, yeah, give 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 your fans some some something to something to be excited for, excited for. Get rid of all that Deadwood. I don't know. This I don't know. It's a cup game and cup game. I'm even mad, but and, and I think United do give us these full stones, and and I think it's important for me not to sort of talk out of context completely, but like they can, like they're not. Out of the, you know what I mean? They're not out of the races. Like they can, <laughs> can come back again. You know, one day it might take a few years, but they, you know what I mean? It's, it can be positive again. Race? What race? Yeah, I heard race. I said, hmm? no, not title race, but just like because I feel like United, United are just they're in the doldrums. United are in there. You know, you know how Liverpool were in the nineties. It's just this republic. Oh, yeah. You know what? It's, I've said this before, though. I don't think United are far. It's just that. You got to change the bloody manager. That's what they got to do. Like wow. they're, not, they're, not, they're not far. Yeah, they're but actually, let's be real. They are. They are. No, as in, as in, okay, far. When I say far, sorry. What I mean is because obviously right now we don't even take them seriously because they're behind Villa and Spurs. Okay, what I mean is when yeah. United being in the in the conversation with the four, the top four, top five teams in the in the in the league, uh, yeah. if you include Chelsea when they get back to form again, um, United can easily be in that conversation. They are just whiskers away from changing that, though. I don't think they will need, you know, it will take, you know, the thing is, they won't need another decade, but it will take them a decade. With do, you what they know they do, with do you know what I think when I watch Man United? Do you know what I think? You know, I was watching Man United, um, the highlights of this game. I watched it again today just to prepare for the pod. And um, I think there's a, one of my favourite movies from the 80s called Vice Versa. I don't know if you've seen it, yeah? There was a, there was a later version from the 90s called or the early 2000s, called Freaky Friday, which is the similar concept. Oh, uh, uh, Jimmy Lee Curtis, Lindsay Lohan. Uh, I think, I think it's, what's my, what, what's that girl's what? name? It's another, it's another thing. It's another thing. Oh. Anyway, Freaky Friday is a woman. So it's like a girl that changes into a, a grown woman, right? But on vice versa, it's a man, but it's the same concept. It's just a kid. He's just switches, he's changes into his dad's body and then he has to go to work like as his dad, but he's a kid. Okay. So like, so when I look at Man United, I'm just like, you lot play in Old Trafford, you wear the Man United kit, but all your players are like kids in comparison to the name and the weight of what your club is. Like they cannot simply do what it takes to be Manchester United, to wear the shirt, to be the badge. Um, and I just think like the fact that, you know, you're, the player that we talk about the most this season anyway has been Marcus Rashford and he is the symbolism of United and he's just he's just not good enough. Like we're we're literally like the goal he scored um, yesterday. Great goal. He's running around celebrating like it was the winner. 
But bro, you missed the sitter before, and it's not. It's just not good enough for me. It's just not good enough. So, um, so I was, was, was going to ask you this. Obviously, you say Marcus Rashford's not good enough for Man United, or where they want to go anyway. Um, what does that mean for him and his career? No, look, Marcus, Marcus Rashford is going to have a great career, whether it be at Manchester United or elsewhere. He'll go on, he'll score loads of goals. And he'll, he needs he'll, to be elsewhere, though. For the way he'll, he'll win trophies. But, you know, sure. Manchester United is... is they're, they're 20 times, Adrian. 20 times they've won the Premier League. This is not about great players. This is about great squads. This is about dynasties. This is about three-peats. This is about trebles. Mm -hmm. This is not... This is about Ballon d'Or winners. And it's you know not what? about a good Marcus Rashford. Come on, guys. Like I, I've always felt like Rashford needs that pe pe uh, coach or whoever to really like give him the real like you know what I mean like drill it into him like you're either not gonna be playing for Man United whoa you're not gonna be good enough for Man United or if you get it together you can you can he needs to you know what's so funny because he he's been playing so young from a young age he needs to elevate like we need to see this guy go on another level and we just never we've never been there and mm. it's it's a shame because. When he digs United out of holes or when he's performing well, United have usually been not that great that season. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't know. Yeah. you know, you just think, oh, okay, when when, when will he carry Man United on his back? Or when will he... <laughs> and when I say carry him on his back, as in not to finish wherever, but to really be, like, the leader of the football club. You know what I'm They're saying? They're most like, he, he was ready for it. Like, well, I say he was ready. No, they United had, had it ready. That was what it was going to be under Oli. This is our guy. And we're going to mm. compliment him with a Fernandes and people like that. And then, you know, the Sancho's and whatever of this world. But, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, don't know. enough for the negativity. Because we've got negative on this club. When they've won and they're going to Wembley. And I don't get to be positive. Wembley, on this team, Wembley. Hey, Coventry so, City. Yeah. I need you. I need you, Coventry City. <laughs> <laughs> do me a favour. Because I do me a favour. No one, listen, yes, yes. Rubinio. You're the only one that's going to give Man United their flowers. No one else is going to. Like, give like Sims, bro. And, and, and Peter, I don't hey? give them my, them flowers myself. I'm the one that's still saying 10 games to go. So I'm going to give them flowers today. Because well, why, why, why even bother with the 10 games? It could be 12 now. Why don't you just look at the FA Cup? Why even bother with the league? Because no, when listen, listen, then that's how many times I have to watch them. That's what where I'm saying. Where, 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 do think, where do you think you'll finish in the league? Oh, this game. This Every week I look at this stuff because I look at what's above me that can get me into Champions League football. That's Villa and that's Spurs. Mm -hmm. And they're doing nonsense. And I'm just like, oh, we can easily get to the top four. But I look at my own team and we mm. do nonsense. And we don't yeah. help ourselves out. <laughs> You're one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just like, them. come on, guys. Just switch it up. If I'm honest, I think being logical, fifth. We could make fourth, but I think it's fifth is the answer because I feel like Villa's on the uh, how many points behind fifth? We are five, okay. Okay, so it's reachable. <laughs> let me let me let me just say this I, I know many, many, many United fans were celebrating the Coventry draw, but I just want to say, um, as the, as the sky blue army travels down. To Wembley, that the sky will be the same color as their shirts, right? They will walk past the Lady Godiva statue. They'll head down to the station, get their train into Houston. From Houston to Wembley, they'll have the day of their of their lives. Okay, and the memories of the FA Cup win in nineteen eighty seven will ring true in their hearts because the sky blue of Coventry will rise oh. again, and it will rise at Wembley. Look at look at this uni student. <laughs> my, 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 my uni days are over but you can take the boy out of Coventry but you can't take Coventry out of the man come on anywho I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to the praises because I, I'm, I'm not sung enough of this guy and I just hope I hope we can nurture him and actually make him something world class and I'm going to keep saying it. Kobe mm. Mainu is the mm. truth. Kobe. Sensational. Sensation. Absolute. Just twisted up everyone on that side. Sent mm. Gomez to the floor. Mm. All that stuff. Lovely things. Just couldn't yeah, finish. Yeah. And then that's that's when you know, he took him off at Anthony. Pete, I was fuming. I said, why are we doing this? 
But everyone, everyone played a part and they played it well. I mm. can't fault anyone. Mm. That's that's, that's the too... craziest thing. Mm. No, fair, fair enough, man. Listen, if, you got if, big, everyone big... did their part, and even the manager, he did this part. He changed it and he got spot on. Even when I wasn't liking the subs, and it's something we definitely need to change for next season. No, no concern. No, no concern about um, conceding three at home, or that's it's just a cup football. No, match. it was expected to happen because it's it against Liverpool, so that was something yeah, expected yeah. to happen. Yeah, but that's what's concerning is that Liverpool conceded four. I know. I don't think it's concerning at all. I'll be real. No, it's not concerning. I said it's more concerning that you shouldn't be focusing that we can concede in three. We concede all the damn time. Liverpool yeah. conceding four is not often. Yeah, but that's not concerning to me. Oh, okay. do, you, like, do you think it's yeah, concerning? Enough. It's something you don't hear every day. They had their well, centre back pairing. I mean, yeah, it is, yeah. It's, out, it's out of the ordinary. But I don't think... Mm. I, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, also, I'll also, also, can I ask you, why is it when we play Liverpool, yeah, Kelleher was that or oh, Alisson Regen. If you close your eyes and you look at him, he you wouldn't know it's hey, not hey, hey, oh, that's, 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 I, I can tell you. When he's I saw some Liverpool Man United, he's I saw some Liverpool. Yeah, I saw some Liverpool fans. That's what you say thing. You made some good saves. Some big yeah, I saw Adrian saying, oh, he's having a great game. No, no, no. Those are shot with a brutal to the court. I said, that's a good thing to me. Wait, you see Allison. Did you see that Amar goal? <laughs> Did you see that Scott McTominay goal? Did you see the Anthony goal? <laughs> can, I a, can, I, can I genuinely be honest with you? Can I genuinely be honest with you? Alice, like those happen, those sorts of things happen. No, no, like m- maybe, maybe I'm a madman. Maybe I'm a madman, yeah. But I feel like Allison against like um what's it, the Arsenal go, where like he makes a save. And then, and, and then, like, they scored the rebound. I don't think Kelly, maybe I'm even mad. I don't think Kelly had done anything awfully wrong for the first goal. Oh, come on, man. That first goal was a joke. It was a weak limb. It was a weak wrist. Well, yeah. I, the ball bounced in the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. You know one thing as well as everybody on this panel knows, yeah? There's a yeah. loose ball in the box. Scott McTominay's all over that. All over yeah? it. Okay, <laughs> right. You have to catch the ball. You have to catch it. And also, in 2020, there was a year, remember, there was a year where Allison got beaten by his, across him every shot that, that <laughs> yeah, but that's... Going to him like three days in the opening season. I, I, obviously, yeah. I'm a madman. I'm, I'm not trying to even justify Kelly or anything, but I'm not if you screw me around. Yeah, man. You right, just, people. Wait, Pete, before we move on, there is one question from Endo that's got to go to, to Adrian. As well, and, you know, he's got to talk. Shaboshlai. There has to be a conversation because Adrian said, "What do you say? Best Liverpool midfielder since Steven Gerrard." Sound like that. Sound like that. Sound like that. Sound like that. I want to put that on your name. You could, you can clear it out. Oh, I said that. I said, uh, it. I said that. I said he it. said it. I said it. I said sound like that. No, no, no. That's 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 what I said verbatim. Verbatim. I did. It, I, bro, it's listen, a weird one, isn't it? No, I think I think I think this is a guy. He's been, he's, he's been out of form for a while now. Um, like, like to be fair, like he's still he's, he's still he's still working hard. But I think I think I think ultimately it boils down to the to the quality, um, quality quality of the final ball, mm. uh, also also quality of the shot. Sometimes, like I know I know he's meant to be a long shot specialist, sure. But there's times mm. where he's just um, tame tamely passing into the goalkeeper's gloves, or there's times mm. where you know, the, a pass is a pass is actually on, and mm. you know you just you're being speculative and it's almost you're almost trying to do too much, and it's almost like he heard me call it Steven Gerrard, and now he feels. You know everything has to go through him, where, whereas mm-hmm. now it's, it's a team game, and that's just a player. I, I think we've got a couple of players actually um, bang out of form at the moment. Actually, I think it's a boss lies one of them. I think Cody Gakpo actually is another one, unfortunately. Where in... oh, I was waiting Whoa. to mention him. The Wackpo slander was back. Uh, yeah, I'm Cody Gakpo, man. <laughs> Jamie yeah. Carragher said he, he look he plays like the game is in slow motion. Do you know how crazy? That is? <laughs> and, 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 and I don't mean this. I don't mean this in terms of quality, but it genuinely feels like Ngog up there. And what I mean by that, what I mean by that is no, no, because you know, because like, <laughs> you know, that that David Ngog, it was like he was so limp, he was so lethargic, he was so like. David give me, Ngog. give me something, man. Like you're better, like like like, like you're hey. better than. Me. AD, do you remember Cinema Pongol? 
Florence no, no, you listen, man. Oh five, you know, you know, you know, he scored against Olympiacos, man. Like, so, no, so no, my oh, Pogba had a little bit, uh, had a little bit. Uh, no, Jones, he, when you said Eng, when you said Engog, it took me back to the chasm of centre forwards you lot had back in the day. Oh, El Hadith, Nutella. Listen, man, we could be a woman. Nutella, oh my God. Boring. Now, do you know what? Yeah, you know, they couldn't believe yeah. the dan, did it's they? We talk about we talk about Man United's downfall, and they sure. will never be as bad as them. Chelsea had a good shot. <laughs> nah, <laughs> yeah. Liverpool's man. Liverpool's dire moments of that Liverpool's, era was oh, so bad. <laughs> Are you man? R.I.P. Gerard Hulier, but some of those <laughs> signings, oh my <laughs> word! And that Igor what's, Bishkan. What's going Igor on? Bishkan. It was like a, it was like a, you know how you say like a poor man's Venga? He was like yeah. a homeless man's Venga. He was going too <laughs> mad. It was like anyone that spoke Fred, Salif Dial. Do you remember him? <laughs> you remember Salif Dial? <laughs> Salif Dial, who ended up having making a career in Stoke. Oh, Bro, and, and, and then yeah, I, 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 as Oscar said, Igor Biscan, Vladimir Slisa. I know, he, I know he scored. I know he scored in the Champions League final. But for the five years other than that, he was at the club, done virtually nothing. <laughs> Oh, Charles Julia, man. So we were losing to uh, you see, oh, you, you see right. some dross, man. Bernard Shea Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Some... The, dark, the dark days of living are you, man? Oh, you know what? You, you see foreign in here? Bernard, sorry. Bernard, don't cancel me. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear it, man. Just, you know what? Before, 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 um, before foreign and put on the way, he weren't that bad, you know? Like, he, he was... You know what I know? Like, like, he was active. Like, he, he, he had a brain. I remember there was one game... He took Besiktas to the cleaners, bro. He didn't score, but... <laughs> yeah, he, he looked like if you gave him space, he was going to lick a shot. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he scored one against Toulouse on his debut yeah. in the Champions League qualifier. But yeah, let's... Oh, there was a time he was looking better than Torres. Strikers with ponytails, nah. There was a time he was looking better than Torres, but in pre-season, no? Pre-season. Hey, Pete, what are we doing? Yeah, let's move, man. Listen, one semi-final to another, okay? The Blues, the Chelsea Blue. Make it to the Chelsea. They make it there again. I'm watching the highlights back, and I've just seen the own goal that that Gusto just is it Gusto? Look at Pierre. He starts. He starts with the negative. We score four goals. You want to talk about that? Oh no 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 no! There's only one highlight right now. There's only one highlight I want to talk about. Look at him. Look at him. Exactly. First things first, Chelsea love to make it hard for themselves, isn't it? They just they just mm. do. We go 2-0 up. Like, listen, Asad, I'm gonna chat to you in a second because goodness me. Um, yeah, I hope you're seeing the Jackson improvement since AFCON. Yeah, pick up Jackson, man. On the first goal that we scored, he did really well. I thought he had a really, really brilliant first half, man. Link up play, nice. doing his good footwork, good movement. But you know, let's let's calm down because I saw all the Chelsea Twitter fans <laughs> get their tweets out and go, This is what I've been saying about Jackson. He's oh, a great asset. He's a great Sorry, forward. Oscar. He's this, he's that. Guys, Leicester are a championship side. <laughs> Cha- championship. You got to play right. face. Not to be fair, because even uh, like, even in his first game against, I, 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 I think my start, I think my starts with Jackson. I think for me, he's not necessarily. I don't. Think, I don't think he's got anywhere near the quality he needs to. To almost can a year or Let's two. Let's end the conversation. How can you start with that and then you want to talk about other things? He's not. I don't think he's as bad as you lot make out, man. I don't. I, I think. I think. I think. I think. I think there's a there's a good there's a solid striker in there somewhere. I think it's linked how, up. How, how do I make out? It's energetic. Make out? Huh? You're saying he's not as bad as we make out. How do we make out? Like he's horrific. Like you're talking about him like he's Voronin or Engog. He's not that. Like he's not. He's a great turn there to win the penalty. I've just seen the penalty. No, right. yeah, he's, not, not. he's got turn, like he's, he's link up. I think I think he's got ability, man. And I think as well, and I, 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 I don't even necessarily blame you lot because he needs, he's meant to be a marquee. But I feel like he's one, 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 one of the days of grace in football, bro. One of the days of grace. One of the days where you can say, you know what, you're 22, you know. You should be out on loan, realistically. You know what I mean? Yes, but that's, that's, that's always been my point. That's always been my point. My issue with Jackson has never really been Jackson. My issue yeah, with Jackson yeah, has always yeah, been yeah. people telling me that he's good enough to play for Chelsea. And when people are like, oh, he's doing great things. He's doing this and that. Cool. But my team is in the bottom half of the Premier League in March. So let's not talk to me about grace and all this stuff because I saw tweets the other day that were like, oh no, if Jackson continues on this form, he's going to finish the season with 15 Premier League goals. That's really, really great. Hold on. Where was this energy when Tammy Abraham got 15 goals? 
Where was that energy then? It weren't good enough then. So mm. how, how all of a sudden is it good enough now? And I'm like, it, of course, I've said, it, I've said it many, many times, bro. In two, three years, I can see Jackson being a top, top striker. My issue is we play football now and he's not there yeah, now. Yeah. And we had an opportunity when Nkunku got injured to sign another striker. And I argued with many people who said, nah, let's not sign no one. Let's give Jackson the season. And in the beginning of the season, we missed out on a lot of points because of not putting the ball in the back of the net. Now, I, I can't really say that. Now our midfield and our defence is a mess. So it's not Jackson's fault that we lose games. But uh, there was a period of time where I felt like it was. And it really, really annoyed me. Um, Asad says Jackson is brilliant, worth every penny. Yeah, um, I, never know if, I don't even know if that's even sarcasm or not. What? No, he, he likes Jackson. Oh, does he? Oh, yeah. Look, Jack, Jackson just isn't a striker, but he's a great footballer. No, nah, comments like that are mental because where, where's he going to play in the football field? He's not a turn. He's not. Yeah, a... yeah let's, they, they want him to play on the wing. They want him to take the ball up, run past I, players. I speak, I speak of the some leaders. bangers in that game, Oscar. There were some bangers. Yeah, in that was game. it was great. It was great. Absolute it was great. great footwork. Um, Oscar. Yeah. Former Oscar. Can we talk about the the, the, the elephant in the room? <laughs> when yeah, when Robin happened. says your name before a question, yeah. Brace <laughs> 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 yourself for uh, grilling. We we, we we need to talk Brace. about one Raheem Sterling and that free kick. That free because kick? Yeah, he's or whatever it was. It was a oh, rugby that, kick. The performance. Let's start with the performance because let's be honest, <laughs> the, 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 the free kick was the, was the how, how can you say this? It was the, the ice level kick. It wasn't play. even the icing on it. It was past dessert. It was the, the nightcap that you take after dessert because there was so much horrificness that came on before that, yeah? So firstly, oh, wow. Sterling's on the pitch doing nothing as per usual, yeah? Just just stinking up the joint. Stinking it up, yeah? <laughs> then, then, wow. he, he gets the ball in the box, miss kicks it and gets fouled. So we win a penalty. Shout out to him. What does he say? As the, as the most senior man in this team, the most senior outfield player on the team, he takes the ball and says, I'm taking the penalty. Even though Cole Palmer has scored every penalty he's scored for he's taken for Chelsea this season. <laughs> Cole Palmer has clearly established himself as Chelsea's penalty taker. Wow. Yeah, Raheem Sterling said, No, I must take the ball. Takes the ball, puts it down, and he misses. Well, you oh, would think... I, completely... I forgot about the penalty. That was yeah, like, not talking about free kick. He missed <laughs> the penalty. All my all my mind was about was the free kick. Because I don't need to see the free kick. I don't need to see the free kick. So then, yeah, so obviously, the free game free. continues. Wow. Game continues. Casado plays an excellent through ball. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. And Ian Wright said it best on match of the day: when Sterling's got time, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do when he's got time. He has to just have an instinctive finish. He can't have space to think. And obviously, he slotted it wide. And I just think, like the, the way the way he played in that game was so pathetic that. Karma was going to come in and he was going to get himself an assist. So he got an assist for Palmer's goal and then his sofa score rating was like a 7.0. And I'm just like, <laughs> you, were, you were a 3.9, but because you got that assist, it looks like you played half decent. But then he came off and he got he got booed by Stamford Bridge. Um, the fans booed him. Yeah, and what, what, what's that about? Yeah. Did you see the free kick? What what's that about? Like, I get uh, people, people, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I can't, can't be your own I think, I think, your own uh, You can. I, I I don't I don't agree with booing because I think it's counterproductive, especially if like a player's coming on. I remember one time there's a player, I think it was Fellaini was it's coming pathetic. on for United and they booed him. It's pathetic. Um, it's not even like it's not even like oh yeah, Karen Drew it doesn't help the player, but no no, no. it's pathetic. You're, you're yeah. a fan so you, of the you don't you, what booing a player coming off after a poor performance. Oh, booing booing a player from your own side is a disease. Yeah, but, but with, within, yes, within the context great. of them having a shocking performance, listen, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Where, where's the blue? He gave it 110. It was crap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it was awful. Like he sent that ball. God knows where. No, I'm, then, Robin, I, Robin. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm not talking about the booing. I'm just talking about his performance. But I'm talking about the booing. We, we, we've declared the performance. But we're also but I'm saying, is, but I'm saying it goes on to the booing because oh, the amount of racism I heard after that free kick oh, was man. unreal. Wait, racism from where? Real Charles people. Know. After if you saw the videos, <laughs> if you saw the videos, <laughs> yeah, so there were angles. Like, oh, I look, heard some wild look, words. We know we 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 know, we know where Chelsea is, words. and we know what Chelsea's like. I think if you're looking hard enough, you can find racism at Stamford yeah. Bridge. 
But I didn't see I didn't see it in that. I didn't look I didn't hard. See it, in that. it appeared on my timeline. <laughs> 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 you saw the second video. Face, <laughs> boy. No, nah, you can't. You, look, you, you shouldn't boo your own player. Like, okay, Pete, would, would, would you uh, would you boo Giroud after that Monaco performance? No, I wouldn't boo him. Let's go. What am I booing him? I'm living with him. I agree with you from a moral standpoint because I don't think I would do it. I think if I was in the stadium yesterday, I wouldn't have booed yeah, that's, Salah. Yeah, that's but, also my point, I think. You would have cussed him. I, you would have cussed him. I would have been custom, of course, because what the heck are you doing? And I, guys, you, you like people. I think people often, when they talk about Chelsea, they you guys have a lot of context and a lot of time yeah, for a lot of things. Yeah. So what you're saying about Jackson, what you're saying about Sterling, but let, let me break it down for you. Chelsea are mid-table in the Premier League in March. We were two 0 up, cruising against Championship opposition in the FA Cup, and we let a two-goal lead slip. The fans are beyond frustrated. They're at a point. This is not September. We're booing a player for a poor performance. It's we've seen Raheem Sterling put in week after week after week, bang average performances, and he doesn't get dropped. You know, every manager has their favorites, and Sterling is a guy that's a mainstay in this Chelsea team. But Bad he's a senior good. player, isn't he? He's, he's up there. But he doesn't play home. like it, and that's why fans are fed up. He he plays terrible. He plays terrible. Look at Assad. says, look, Sterling has let me down. I tried to get behind him in the first half of the season. But since November, he's been average. You can find tweets of me saying, look, everybody wanted to get on Sterling this season, but he's played well. That was up until like November. Since then, his performances have dropped and he's not been the guy that's putting his arm around Cole Palmer and Noni Madueke and Nick mm -hmm. Jackson and mm -hmm. saying, follow me. I'm going to lead us to victory. You can rely on me when the time gets tough. When we need a goal yeah. in the FA Cup sixth round, I'm going to take the penalty off the kid <laughs> that's been banging in penalties every week and miss. Pete, and come on, miss. man. It's, like, it's, no, it's, it's really, really bad. It's really, really bad. It's, it's certainly hard to defend him, but booing him is a disgrace. I'm sorry. It's a disgrace. To boo I, your own player. I, 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 think, I think it's bad. I don't think it's a disgrace. It, I, I you don't think disgrace. so? No, I think it's bad. I don't think it makes sense. I don't think it's counterproductive. I think it's counterproductive. I don't think it... I don't, um, I don't think you're going to get your desired result by booing. Side question, Pete. If, is it okay to mm. boo the whole team? That's a good question. I can understand booing mm. a performance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That I can understand. Yeah. That I can understand. Yeah, yeah, it's not personal. Do you know them ones? If you boo a team's performance, you've got the final whistle, you're booing the performance. That I understand. I've seen that many a time. I get that because it's not He's personal. Done it himself. But mm. Sterling, so wait, Sterling's got subbed off and then they start booing him. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yep. Well, so firstly, firstly, what happened was a substitution happens where I think it's Chukwameka's coming on. And yep. the, obviously Sterling is playing horrible. So everyone's yeah. expecting Sterling to come off. Assuming, yeah. He doesn't. Mudrick comes off and the crowd boo the substitution. They're not gotcha. booing Mudrik. They're not booing gotcha. Chukwameka. Yeah, they're yeah. booing the fact that Sterling has stayed on. Wow. Yeah. And then Sterling That's gets subbed. And then, and then he gets booed off. So smokes. Is uh, he look, made another point. Look, Oscar, how many times has he messed up one v one self situations because of self issues? It's it's like stuff like that, Pete. Where it's like you're taking penalties, you have opportunities to lay the ball off to a player who's in a better position, and you don't pass. It's beyond yeah. like, oh, you're trying and you're not making things work. It's mental things that are showing like a bit of selfishness here, a bit yeah. of greed, and not putting the team first. And I think Literally. that's where the the level of fed up has got to another level. Because look, how many players in our team have performed horrible this season? They, they all have. That you can count them on half of your hand, the players that have played well. Palmer, Gusto, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just feel like I, no matter how much you've been pushed, booing your player, for me, is an utter disgrace. Mm. It's an utter disgrace. Mm. That's yeah. just my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I can't like boo my... Like when you know, like when Xhaka got sub subbed off and the whole crowd cheered, and then he reacted and they booed. And then I mm. you, you saw, remember on the pod, I was on the Xhaka camp because I was just like, at some point, I was like, come on, like you know, okay, fine, he's had a shocking performance, blah blah blah, blah whatever. But like, you know, it, it, it was just it was nasty, it was absolutely nasty. And then we're singing now when he left his last team, uh, last game, sorry, for Arsenal, they're singing, We want you to stay, he ain't staying. Do you know what I'm saying? He barely yeah, stayed but, for the season before. Do, do, do you not think that, like, do you not think it's yeah, like, the, 
the the exchange for what you give. So like in terms of when you're a player, if you play well, the crowd are going to chant your name. They're going to cheer for you. They're going to buy your shirt. They're going to yeah. almost, you know, worship, idolize you. Yeah. And, you yeah. know I mean? To put it in such terms. And yeah. then when you don't perform, they're going to do the exact opposite. Like you kind of get the give and take. Like all of us here, we have great jobs, but if, if we have a good day at work, you're lucky if you get a thumbs up from your boss. Absolutely. Yeah. You're, Absolutely. Not getting, you're not getting 50,000 fans singing your name. That's not no. what you're getting. So no. when you have a bad day, you get you get the opposite of that. You know, it just... Yeah. yeah. I just... It, yeah, no, I, I get, listen, I, I understand the frustration. Don't get me wrong. I, I understand it. But um, yeah, booing the team, I can understand the team. If you're not happy with the performance that you saw, I understand that. But yeah, yeah booing, booing one player that when he's getting subbed off, Nah, man, it's a disgrace. I'm um, not going to say the game's going soft, Brack. It's just, it's, 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 I don't know. It's a respect thing. Do you know what I mean? It's not even like a, oh, you've hurt my feelings. It's a respect thing. Like you say you support mm. your football club. I oh, will support them then. When he's had a bad game, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying give him a standing ovation, but like clap the guy that's going to come on. Because who did, who did Sterling come off for? I think it was Madueki. So Madueki had to, oh. had to endure the booing for, for the player that was coming off. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, Okay, fine. They probably applauded him afterwards, but that his moment's <laughs> gone. Like when the announcers announced his name for Noni, and he scored an absolute mm. banger as well. By the way, oh, you know oh, he's, gonna... he's, he's he's not got that point. Yeah, where's know? the side? So... The side. Put comments in there for Noni. Put comments in there for Noni. Talk to me about. Uh, Noni. No, you said you said you wanted to talk to him. Come on, ask the comments. Yeah, this is what it, this is what it's about. Because Noni got his <laughs> his moment to shine, and he and he's he's been shining lately, man. And he's shining, bro. I don't... I don't, know, I don't know why why the man I'm hate on him. Like, there's a lot of players that don't uh, get game time for Chelsea. Well, you know, well, well, well. I know, I, I know, we haven't gone to not that guy, but a very, very quick one. The commentator that confused Noni Madueke with Chukomenka. He goes Chukomenka. Oh, oh Noni Madueke. <laughs> I was like, oh dear. Easy, easy, easy mistake. <laughs> easy mistake to make. Easy um, mistake to make. I can't lie, because it's a bit smelly. Because Noni, That's you've smelly. done well. Like Noni, Noni's got the you know the headband. He's got a certain style. Blah blah. blah. Trukameka, like I've, he's barely played. Like you know what I mean? It's like it's one of those where you're like, <laughs> did you see the ball? <laughs> okay, did you see it? I didn't you see, see the goal. goal. I said, yeah, I saw That's the goal. The goal. They what, were you... they were right next to each other. Like... Oh, weren't they? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Fine. If he like, thought it, Noni, it was smelly, thought, it was smelly how it okay, came out. I, I thought, I thought, <laughs> I thought what Robin's saying is that he actually, you know, we're talking, we're looking at Chukameka calling him Noni, or are you saying they were both together? No, so, so, Noni. so, so, so Noni has the ball to his left, Chukameka is there, like for a pass, he's right next to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they're playing in the same areas of the pitch, is what I mean. Okay. And then Noni, Noni dribbles past a couple. Takes a shot, and you think about it, he's in the stadium. He goes, he's he, on TV. He's good. Like, Chukomek, and then literally the uh, the uh was listening. I was like, I don't know about that one. <laughs> if you if repaired it, it's fine. If you repaired it, <laughs> shout out to Lola. She says, uh, Noni and Carney do not look the same at all, unless Oscar is doing that. Then white people say, uh, we all look alike. <laughs> first of all, that's what from, I was thinking. I was like, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not that you look alike. I can tell the difference between them. I'm just saying, like, they both have, like, dread type hair. They're both, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> say it, Oscar. Say it with chest. <laughs> say it with chest. I, don't, I, don't, I don't confuse them. And I don't think he's right to confuse them. I just think it's an easy mistake to make. Oscar That's the right. That is a corporate Oscar. Look, uh, well, look. If if uh if if Emil Smith Rowe and Odegaard are playing next to each other, you might confuse them. They've both got the blonde top. Yeah, you know, it's not they look alike. Uh, and you just might confuse them. Uh, Oscar, you might just confuse Oscar, them. No. <laughs> hey, what okay. would, Oscar, would Oscar be? Would, would would white people call Oscar racist if you confuse Odegaard with Smith Rowe? Question not. Huh? Yeah, no. How many commentators have confused Matt and Sean Longstaff every week? No, because because you know you, you know how I'm black. Is it, you see, you know, brothers, brothers. Brothers. <laughs> dread type hair. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> They're cooking, Oscar, me, right? Oscar, Oscar, question, Oscar, Oscar, quick question on on Leicester City. Do you think they're ready to come back to the Premier League? Oh, 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 goodness! Of course they are. Of course they are. I mean, I, I, I was witnessing Keenan Drewsby you Hall. That? You Ke said that, Have Oscar. You what about my boy? What about my boy? Well, for the for, former Arsenal, 
Steffi. Huh? He scored an absolute banger. <laughs> Steffi Mavadini, talk to me. Oh, what was he Arsenal? Oh, he's yeah, Arsenal, Arsenal, my friend. He, he was the know. Arsenal FC. He was the one like Academy, bro. Academy, bro. He was he was the one after Akpom, but before in Ketia. He was right in that middle sandwich, and then Juventus said, "Yep, we'll take that." Also, What's... Poch is a criminal, man. Poch is a criminal. We had a. Uh... Uh, Cesar Casadai, a young Chelsea player, was on loan at Leicester. Scored about five goals this season in their campaign, and he recalled him in January. Hasn't started a league game since. What's the point of recalling him? Taking yeah, a minute. Yeah. Did hey, he not come in the final as well? I think this was great. Huh? He came on in the final, Casadai, no? Yeah, he came on in the final. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's a, it's, it's yeah. a weird one. He was really thing at Leicester. Um, a few uh, uh, low listers. Le Leicester were good. Can Defo come back up by that defense? Yeah, Robin, what were you going to say about Leicester? No, I was saying, have you seen the championship at like, the table? Like, it's Leicester quite, might man. drop down into the... Uh, it's volatile. It's the, what's, the, what's the points? What's the points? Talk to me. That's the problem. So, the Leicester... Bro. No, so Leeds is now top. So Leeds, Leeds, top. Leeds, okay. Leeds, 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 is top. Like I said, they was good. Both joined on 82 points, right? Leeds has a better goal score difference. And Ipswich Town is third on 81 points. Leeds are top like, of the championship. When did this happen? Yes, just like that. last Leicester, weekend. Leicester, that's what I said. Playoffs, just like that. That's what I said. I I don't think you're sure about that. Leicester can drop into the playoffs. Yeah, they're, they're one point <laughs> ahead. Oh, and Ipswich are, Ipswich are playing well, bro. Ipswich are playing well, Peter. Another former Arsenal, uh, Amari Hutchinson, back two on the weekend. Oh, oh. boop boop boop. I did. Do, do you know they call him? You know the streets are calling him. Streets are calling what, him. Chelsea? Name Amari. <laughs> Neymari, we like that. We Are the streets calling him that, or did you just call him that? Not to be fair, no, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw the, like a newspaper or something. He saw the tweet. He saw it. Oh, it was a tweet. Bro, I saw it. Let's do a ten points game. Bro, I thought Leicester were signed soon. No, 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 no. It, no. It, 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 it is tight in the championship. What are you man forgetting bro, the championship? No, Oscar, Oscar. You know what you forget? What people forget about the championship? They play about thirty games a month. The thing is, two <laughs> months ago. Two months ago, Leicester were probably 10 points clear with Southampton's in second. Now, bro, they play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, every week. Hmm. Every week, it's a double header in the championship. So you're playing rapid amount of football. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's... Lola, it's, yeah, it's, Lola, it's Lola, Lola said Academy boys at Ipswich. Pete, who, who the hell are boys at Ipswich? Who's the other one? Where's... where's is it Tyrese? John Jules? Am I going mad? Is that football manager? Oh, Terrence! Yeah? I can't forget, I can't forget about John Jules. Well, is that the big you? Striker. Ain't, he's like six. Ain't that big. He's like six. <laughs> first, man. So wait, who's the other one? Is he, is he that old now, blood, that he's playing football in the championship? Well done, man. Mm. Who, who are the two, then? So, do Tyrese and who? And, and Hutchinson, isn't it? Oh, Hutchinson's oh. Cobham. Okay. Hutchinson's Cobham. Yeah, he, he's Cobham now, but he's, he's not Cobham. like he's your academy player. Oh, what Clark was it? Henry, is it um Harry Clark? Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, 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 you know, Peter doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just <laughs> hang on, hang on. Lola, he's saying that, saying that's some shit. Screech. Hello, Lola. I thought Clark played for Sunderland. Why have I got that wrong? Oh yeah, I thought yeah, Clark I heard was that Arsenal defender. Yeah, white guy. Yeah, he had a, he had a shocker against Newcastle. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Horrific. Yeah, yeah. Had a stink, a stink. Anyway, uh, are we um, moving on, guys? Can we move on? Well, uh, but just, but just before we move on, the mighty Chelsea move on to uh, to Wembley and we go to uh, Manchester City. Um, yes, we're gonna get slapped up. Can we just have a, 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 a brief conversation on this man, uh, Cole Palmer, 26 GA in his first season at Chelsea? Cole Palmer, um, yeah, uh, uh, am I am I Chelsea tinted glasses if I say that this man should win young player of the year this year? Am I crazy? Let's discuss what's the age, what's the age limit. Of young player, yeah. you gotta be like, you, you gotta have turned 21 this year. I can't year. lie, I can't lie. I'm throwing Kobe in there. I'm throwing, wow. no, no, I'm throwing. I'm throwing. I'm throwing him in there. What? Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know, do you know why? I bet you he has a, I bet you he has a good contention of winning it as well. Winning what? Winning what? Do you know why? Do you know why? Because, why? The, because we already know about these award shows, they only see about the moments and stuff. No, but when against had Cole people, Palmer. Because oh, remember, remember, the thing is, if we're actually, if, if we're very honest, if we're very honest, who's going to win it? Phil Foden. That's Foden, the one Foden's 24. 
Fred is a grown man with three kids. Can't be the can't be the can't be the yeah. He can still win it. Children and he can still win it. Three kids and he still can still win it. This kid can babysit the youngest kid. He and doesn't even what? pay for a babysitter anymore. That's how old his and kids guess are. what? Yo, guess what? Yeah, I'm I'm social services don't get called. That's, that's why I'm trying to tell you. That's why I'm trying to tell you. These, these awards can be wild because it's all about moments. It is all about moments. No, but look, that's what's Robin, 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 I hear had, it. Like I he hear it. He scored it. Is, I'm, I'm not. I'm not he's saying anything wild. I'm not saying anything Robin, wild. Yes, you are. That's wild. Yes, you are. Robin, that's you wild. Are. That's you wild. Are. Robin, that's wild. Like at Me least Colby, Colby, Cole Palmer, <laughs> Cole Palmer, <laughs> is has carried the badge. No, he's carried like the badge. He, I'm, I'm like not he's saying carried it on his back. Yeah, <laughs> no, but oh Oscar saying he has to win. I'm like, mm. I, well, the question I want to ask it from an Arsenal bias perspective, right? What that, that's why I asked about the age limit because this this is if Saka is the age the hat, limit is twenty four. If Saka's in the hat, no, no, that's not. They changed. They changed it. They changed it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the official reading, and I'll, and I'll let you guys know. If Saka is in the hat, guys, and and it, and the title race is on, I'm so sorry. You can, see, I see your Cole Palmer's. I see your Kobe Mainies. As can, as of 2021, design. players must be aged of 21 at the first of July. There you okay. go. So it's only 21. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, it dropped. It did drop. What are we doing here? Are you man? this year. What? what? I don't know. I know he's still young, but I find it crazy. Saka's going to be twenty three. Where did the years go? Yeah, look, man. look, look. Lola saying it's still a Foden, Harlan, Saka. Them man are too old for this. Them man are too old. That's crazy. Twenty one now is the age limit. Foden's right, got right, three to beat me, bro. bro. You're not. Te- you can't win, young player. Right, so remember, three. remember, remember. You used to be 24, so that's no, not like. Yeah, no, they changed it though. Peter, changed Peter, there was a year. I kid you not. Raheem Sterling had like seven years experience. <laughs> like Harry Kane was was, was eligible at like 25 or something. What? What I found this Harry Kane turned 25 one year and he was eligible because 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 he was born in July. Yeah, <laughs> what's a disgrace though is is the young no 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like Bell's done it, Ronaldo's done it. I said, listen, guys, stop. Yeah, yeah, why don't we just separate them? Just the separate them? them, guys. There's there's a Premier League young player over the year as well. That rule hasn't changed. Wait, what? Well, that's what I thought. That's what so then there's a PFA, but there's also a Premier League. Oh, you're right. There's also a Premier League young player of the year. Because oh, so Erling Holland won it last year. Man? What's the Premier League? Erling, 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 Erling Holland won it last year. He won both. He won Young Player and Player of the Year at the same time. Yeah, he did. He did. I've just and, and he won it at 22. Good so, I the, think that's the, still 24. The, the Premier League one is not. Is. The Premier League one is not the official one. As in, it is official, but it only began in in the year 1920. So Trent was the first person to win it. Oh, I thought you meant like 1920. <laughs> Nineteen twenty season. <laughs> now nah, the nineteen twenty season is the first year of the Premier League official. Actually. I think that's the one I always complain about. That's Young the Player of the Year award is for twenty three and under by first of July. So how how old are these? How old is Saka? Yeah, twenty three. He's going to be twenty three this year. He's so going 20? to be twenty three. Yeah, I think he's twenty two. Bukayo Saka. Yeah, but Palmer's been better than him. Oh, are you sure. Oh, this season. Sure this season. This season, yeah. No, Oscar Palmer's been Palmer's been phenomenal. Saka's yeah. twenty two. He's twenty three in September. Palmer's been phenomenal. I'm a bit Out, top notch. He's been better. Kyle Saka. No, don't agree. Palmer's been better than Saka. This year. Palmer's been brilliant. No, that's a, <laughs> he's been better no. than Saka. No, Oscar Saka's got. Where's the stats? Saka's got what? Saka. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Saka's uh, got two more goals that. than him. Oscar, he's got 16 goals this season because Saka in all comps. Don't do all comps because if I if I do all comps, it's it's, it's yeah it's scary. Because, I mean, I mean, how many other competitions has frigging Cole Palmer even been in? That's what I'm point. saying, he's, he's not he's not even playing. In, he's got less games and he's got the similar similar GA. Yeah, oh, what's it, what's yeah is, is that what, is that all it boils down to these days? I know, right? I mean, no, 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 but but okay, well, yeah, okay, okay, fair enough. If, if we're talking impact, then it's not. Even a debate because Palmer has been an outstanding player in most games he's played this season. Saka has Oscar, 
Oscar. Oh! Sacco, Sacco, Sacco. I thought he was gonna repent. He he doubled oh, down. He doubled down. He, yeah, because Saka's yeah, team is top of the league because of him. By the way, let's no, just have it right. No, it's not. He's our highest contributor this season. So? Fight me, fight me. So he's got he's got, he's got the most goals. <laughs> he's got the most assists in in the league. Brother, for, for Arsenal, he, 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 yeah. he is the yeah he is the reason we're top of the league. He's not the reason you're top of the league. Okay. You've okay. got the most well-rounded squad of any no, team. Of course, everybody's got their part to play. Don't get me wrong, but Zach, Zach has got the most of them all. Yeah. Jeez, yeah Saka had a series of games where he was slapping braces like his teeth depended on it. That's a brilliant line. That's a great line. See, I believe in Murad's ability to come up with the greatness, <laughs> right? Mm. You lot were accepting the AWOL line. I'm not accepting that. I am He's accepting so the AWOL line. He's so much better than me. <laughs> All right, let's move, let's move on. Um, so, Manchester City. No, I'm not talking about yeah, no. No. City. Uh, no, no, let's play, let's deal with the FA Cup and then we go to the Cup. Because it's not because it's not there's not, there's not much to talk about it. Robin, it's 9 30. Robin, Robin, Robin. He's been talking about two games so far. Yeah, it's 9 30. Then let's speed it up. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Look, look. Bernardo Silva Brace, <laughs> what a guy. Let's move on. Yeah, what a what a <laughs> guy. Was that, was that him? Was it, was, it, was, it, was it him that done that? Was it was it I think it was right, Newcastle scored. suck? Newcastle suck. Shout out to Coventry beating Wolverhampton Wanderers, you know what I'm saying? Into the semi-final. Leave it. Um oh, that last 10 minutes, crazy. Absolutely. Mind you, Wolves, yeah. I don't know if you've noticed Wolves at the moment, though. They've lost obviously Neto. They've lost, I think Neto's up for the rest of the season. Gutted mm-hmm. about that. Um, no Hang Hee Chan. And no, was it Cunha? Cunha, Cunha, Dennis, was it ACL or something? I'll Mental. be honest with you guys. Stop putting and your chips no against Wolves. And no Neto. Put, yeah, I mentioned that at the beginning. I'll put your yeah. chips against Wolves from now to the rest of the season. You want to talk about a team with sandals? We're in March, guys. There's always that team that go to the beach. Wolves just have to sign out because they can't actually do anything anymore. Yeah. They are the first team with sandals on. Let me tell you that right now. I'll say that right now. So yeah. start putting your chips against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Right. In other news, where is Oscar? Why is he gone? I need him for this conversation. Guys, what the flip is going on in football? City ground. <laughs> why why is Nottingham Forest? Why has Nottingham Forest been docked four points? Because just like Everton, when... they broke the rules. <laughs> it's astonishing. Rules. It's astonishing. But here's the thing. Nottingham have, 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 have sort of lost more money than Everton, but Everton first of all got ten, then they got six. Forest have lost four points. Can somebody explain? What do we think about this? By the way, Listen, all of them are guilty. It's just not everyone's being punished. That is that is that. Man can't tell me like in the last ten years, two teams have exactly. We're exactly, all, we're all bent blood, like all of us, and yet we look at this now. So now, loot and town are are above the. Uh, uh, zone. the out. Have, I got, have I got that right? <laughs> yeah, I think they're above, like by two points now. I think something like that, one or two. Nah, man, it's a farce, guys. What's going on? You can't have this, What's guys. Happening? What are we doing? Nottingham Forest dock four points. Oh, my second team. They got done, <laughs> Oscar. But they got less points than uh, they got, they got less, <laughs> they got less points, uh, dock, dockage basically for for losing more money though than Everton. What's that about? Did you did, what did you hear about their statement? You see what they said in the statement? No, what's their statement saying? <laughs> their club statement basically they said we did things wrong, but the Premier League also did things wrong, so therefore they shouldn't have punished us at all. Hey, that's basically the that's Premier basically League what it was. From. Yeah, they said that they tried to cooperate with the Premier League in order to submit the documentation on time, and the Pre- Premier League were not cooperative with them, and they feel like they've been hardly done by because of that. PR, the Premier League needs to be careful because if you remember who the Nottingham Forest owner is, mm, any of you guys remember? I forgot. I forgot to say this when we played them. Is this the man that ran on the pitch when you lot, when you lot do, got the He was on the oh. field. The, the decision was, was so fast. He was on the pitch. Peter, Peter, right. So, you know, you know, he was on the pitch I, I, and Van Dyke was arguing with him. I wanted to pull yeah. Van Dyke off. 
Because if you do your homework, if you do your homework, this is the same guy in Greece who ran on. He was so incensed by a decision, right? He ran onto the field with a loaded gun, guys. Yes, he did. did. Yes, he did. And a Peter, and a Peter, and this Premier League have got the audacity to tell me about a, fit, a proper person's test. <laughs> <laughs> a proper person. Out guys, I've Wait. got I've got scoop on this guy. It's unreal. I've listened. He Ma- backed Marco out Silva, Marco Silva left Olympiacos because he said the guy who owns the football club needs to be stopped. That was the, that's the he worst. Needs to be he, needs to, he, needs to, he needs to be stopped. This is the same guy who basically. So imagine this, right? Road closures happen right before a game. Roads get closed and. Blah, blah, blah. So his his wife, yeah, missed the road closure, right? So she's stranded out there. I think it's his, his wife and his brother. So the safety officer of Nottingham Forest was like, yeah, she's not getting in because, like, the, the roads are closed. Like, it's closed, isn't it? Bro, why have they fired the guy, like, the next day, bro? They fired the safety officer, literally. You fired the safety officer. And now the safety officer is now at Sheffield United. Thankfully, you got another job. What an utter scumbag! Just because your wife didn't make it on time. This this guy's a maniac. He he backed out the burner, bro. No, come on, guys. <laughs> and, 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 and he's and he just now, you know he's what? free. He's just when I saw him on the field at, against Liverpool, I said it's about to go down. Bird, you what know? are you doing? Get off, get out of there. Do you know that you know that game was at three o'clock? Yeah, so there was no one could watch it, right? Right. So, you know, on Soccer Saturday, it's like full time at the city ground. So they start panning cameras to the stadium because now it's safe, right? Bro, they couldn't get their camera off this guy. This guy is on the field. I'm thinking, ain't that the owner? I'm thinking, hang on a minute. I'm, you know, Mrs. is chatting to be trying to talk. I'm, I'm not even trying to hear the convo. I'm like, yo, hang on. The owner of the football club is pitch side. You know, like directors, <laughs> directors boxes are at least two levels from the ground. They're like two lifts. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're up there. When your owner is on the grass, blood, questions have to be asked, man. That's it. Someone's about to... I was, I was, I was literally saying, there's going to be gunfire. And, in the and, 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 and it's not for a trophy presentation, by the way. That's the only oh, time. They, that is the only time they need to be on the grass. And even then, <laughs> you know, even then, you have to ask questions. But blood, the guy back, the guy was outside. Oh, chatting to Van Dyke, yeah, like you said, uh, AD, you should have feared for his life, bro. Oh, he's a but, yeah. Like I said, my my start still sounds the same. We have another him. club that has been has 115 charges. Mm. So that's another thing. I'm gonna no, it, 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 if if <laughs> if you're gonna punish these men and they barely broke the rules, calm. I they have were, nothing to say. Been. Robin, but, they've been in the league for a year and a half. No, no, they've not even I, been in the I, league. I, I hear that. Ah, oh, but listen, Pete. Not of them. Every time they come to the to the prem, they're like Sheffield. They just buy a new squad. So they've been spending recklessly. So Robin, they've been here for a year and a half. We're not talking <laughs> about a team that's been here, bro. You know the last time Forest were in the league before now. Well, Van Hoydonk. Yeah, yeah, Van Hoydonk. Yeah, Hoydonk. Yeah. Like their shirt I used to say Nottingham and Leicester on the front of it, blood. This is this is not a team that's been here. Bia, don't get caught slipping. That's what happened. We're... I mean, are they <laughs> slipping if they listen? You have, you can't make a certain amount. Was it 105 million over three years? They've been here a yeah. year and a half. Mm-hmm. And they're not. Do you hear so, me, England? So, They've so, been here so, a year and a half. So it means they're not going to make it. That that means there's some serious things going on. Come on, come no, on, Peter. Peter, that's my start. My start is simple. If you're gonna punish them, make sure you actually punish the people that you put on charge, who you've actually put on trial. That is all I'm going to say. They mm. don't have the cojones to do anything to Man City. We know that the Premier League is in big. By the way, there is a FIFA documentary coming out on Premier League because there is Ben as a nine pound note. There's no way. These men are squeaky clean. There's no way. There is absolutely no way. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Especially when it is it, it's little conjunction with Sky when it all kicked off in '92, bro. The more you read about that stuff, trust me, the Premier League is bad. Unbelievably. Mm. Anyway, we move on. Mm-hmm. Let's go, Oscar. Let's talk. Let's talk your boys. 
the uh, the England squad uh, has been announced for the uh, up and coming friendly. Bye, boys, and uh, and also a uh, you know the England kit has been also uh, announced for the Euros. Yeah, Let me first of all get your thoughts on the kit. I think it's nice. I think it's very nice. I think I think they're both good. I think on 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 paper, like the away one, is the away one looks there. nicer. Yeah, I it think, looks nicer though. I think on paper, like when they showed the image of it, it didn't look nice. Then there's a video of Rashford in it, like wearing it, and it looks good. Like it looks really, really good. Yeah, I feel um, it's dope. I like both the kits. I, I don't think either of them are bad. The home kit, you know what though? I think you mentioned it in the group chat. The blue. You know I'm saying I need a bit more. You know what I'm saying? It's too, it's too royal blue. It's too. Uh, you need I want the red. The, I need uh, like a, I said, no, I, I, I want the red. I, I just need a dark yeah. blue. I want a dark, rich blue. It is a dark blue. What do you want? <laughs> no, it's in like a navy. It wasn't darker. Well, what kind of do you dark? think it is? It's like Chelsea blue. It's like a blue. Well, it's uh, well no, it's not. He's a relook at that be picture. Lola O said, uh, run me the England away kit, please. The thing is, the away England away kit is, away kit is so much better. But yeah, the thing is, I, I put on gold. Ooh. You see, the thing is, yeah, I've, I've got to a point where I feel like there's no point of me buying kits that don't have players on the back just because I think they um they last longer or they, they mean more in like the future when you have a player on them. But I don't like any of these guys. I can't get any of these guys on my way. You, you don't want a Harry King. Oh, oh. I couldn't think of anything worse. Uh, what about Starboy? Not a Starboy thing. Not, 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 not a Bellingham. Not a Jude. Maybe, maybe a Jude, but then I know Jude is going to go and join Man United and just annoy me. <laughs> He's going to join an English club <laughs> eventually. What about, what about Saka, bro? What, what gone? I'm not wearing a Bakayo Saka shirt. I'm not. I'm not doing Why? That. Why would I? Oh, okay. Tom? Here's Tom? here's a talking point. Here's something I want to ask you. PR Ben White excluded we himself. Yeah, yeah, we, we, yeah, we need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. England squad. He told, to the, he told the England squad to naff off. Talk let me tell you something right he now. Said, let me, is let the me, direction you can. <laughs> let me tell you something right now. <laughs> can I yeah. just say something? Yeah, <laughs> and it might get this show cancelled. Oh, please I'm gonna tell you right for, for, straight up and down. Right, don't get us cancelled. Gareth Southgate, you're a disgrace. Right, Gareth? Harry Redknapp is a disgrace. Mm -hmm. uh, who else is flapping his gut? Paul Merson, disgrace. The whole right? whoever is talking, huh? You're right. You're right. right. What's he said? He said. He said. It, I heard he, it, he, right. said he said. He said. Ian Wright said, anyone who refuses to play for England should go and visit Ian Wright, the parents you're a disgrace of well. dead soldiers and explain their decision. Yeah, hang on. The, yeah, the jabroni that came on about his dad fighting in the war that didn't have any legs, right? And ben White should use his legs. You as well. You're I'm not, not that freaking guy. Get the hell out of here. Why is everyone coming around with their patriotism now? Okay. Southgate, Oscar, no, no, no. Let's have it right. Let's have it right. You know, the, you know when he started talking about Ben White, it was unprovoked, bro. Unprovoked mm -hmm. in that press up. Um, Southgate. What is wait, wait, wait. Bro, what, uh, explain it, explain it. Have, have you watched this? Have you watched the I've not seen the press up? I've not seen the press up. We'll, we'll talk me through it. He's talking, talking, you know what I mean? You know, made some play, you know, the usual garbage where he's talking yeah, about like, well, form, why like, do you not speak? I never, yeah, we'll, we'll go to that because he's like selecting Henderson over Manu and blah blah blah. No, well, yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 I want to talk we'll about that, that too, but let's, let's stay on white for a second. We need to stay on, you know, on Benny Blanco. Talk to us, Pete. They asked him about Benjamin White, yeah, and Ben and, and Mr. Friggin Southgate. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, yeah, your manager, your manager. Right, if you're the manager of a football club or a national team, blah blah, blah and you've got an issue with your player, right? Do you go out and put him out on front street like that? Do you go out there and say the guy refuses to join the squad? Do you go out there and he says he withdraws from the squad? Do you say any of those things? Yep. Do you yep. say any of those things? Yeah, why? Ten, why? Ten, ten, why? Why? If when I you know, England, Oscar, when you know, when you know what's going on behind the scenes, you know, okay, yeah. you the manager knows. He's refused right? to play for his country. So, so let's let's not let's not sugarcoat it to be. Hearsay or pretend what it is. He whoa, knows whoa, what's whoa. happened over there. Okay, okay, Peter, Peter, talk, talk, talk to me about what's happened because I, yeah, from, because from the, the, thing, from the, the story thing. that I know, 
I'm from the story, story that I know, obviously I'm, I don't have the insider information. I have yeah. what, what's been reported. Yeah. Yeah. And the story that I know is that Ben White was fed up of being a bench player, fed up of being an extra body to be a cone in training and said, I, I, I don't want to do your stupid drills if you've got favoritism and you're picking the same players every week who are playing worse than me in the league. So he, he had enough. And during during a, a, a quote unquote bust up at the at the tournament, he said, find this, I'm leaving. And then when it comes to this time around, when they're well, acquiring and saying, he didn't, hey, get kicked out. he didn't get kicked out, yeah? He left. I, I don't know. I, the story right. was that he left. He got, he yeah, got the story, kicked out. The story, right? He got kicked out of the England squad, okay? The first time, right? So obviously he's not... He's, first of all, this is the kind of respect he's got for Gareth Southgate. The guy told Edu to speak to Southgate and tell him I'm not coming to the England camp, Right? I'm not going to, like, you've got to look at the dynamics of the situation, bro. If anything, when he was asked about, you know, maybe why Ben White's not playing, he could have said whatever he had to say. The guy brings up, like, Steve Holland. Nobody asked about Steve Holland. He brings him up. He says, you know, he obviously backed his assistant manager, right, of the whole situation. Yeah. I'm sitting there thinking, hang on a minute. You don't put your player out there in the middle of the freaking fire, right? And then you've got this pylon. You've got your red naps. You've got your Ian Wrights. You've got all these people now coming on saying about how much of it's a disgrace it is to refuse to... We've got freaking veterans from the wherever to start talking about where, you know who should, you should be playing for England if, if you get the opportunity, blah, blah. This is the problem. You put him in the limelight. Now, for whatever, you know, you've got your reasoning. You've got your reasoning as to why he's not in the squad or whatever, right? And he may even be like, look, don't put me anywhere near there if we've got so and so in there, or if the, if it's if it is because when Vardy said, "Look, I'm not playing for England because Kane's there," no one batted an eyelid. When Everyone, did Vardy it, say that? Vardy retired from international football because he knew he was not going to play for England. That was his actual words. His but, words were, "As long as Kane was there, he knew he wasn't going to like realistically play." Right? Yeah, but that's Everyone, that's not the same scenario. Hey, hey, why? Why? Ben White is not was, playing. He's not. He's not turning up to the squad because he's going to be behind Trippier, behind Walker, behind because, Trent. Uh, hold on, because for, because okay. Vardy, Vardy, and, and he said the same, and he said a bust up with with Holland or whatever. I mean, bust ups happen all the time. By the way, that's, that's not. That's, that's, oh wait, 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 wait. No, steady, steady on. Let's not let's not glamorize it, right? People have fights in training grounds all the time. They get over it. They're freaking men. Okay, they get over. It. They get over it, right? So the fight with Steve Holland, if there was one, is not the reason he's not in the England squad. But, it's not the but, reason. So, so, so from from the story that we have been reported from this yes. yeah. camp is that he was offered a place to come back into the he wasn't. Squad he wasn't. And white no, he wasn't. No, he that's wasn't. That's the story that we're no, being told. That's the, that's the no, story. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Listen to Gareth's presser. Gareth Southgate what said because because Ga Gareth was asked no Ben White in the squad, yeah. right? And he says, you know, we we like Ben White. Da, 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 giving it the usual. Edu called me. The guy literally says, Edu called me and told me that Ben White is not going to make himself available for selection. There you go. Right? No. So he wasn't called to be in the squad and he said, no. He said, don't even consider me for collect for, for what? For selection. So, so yeah. you've made the decision for me then? Yes. What I'm saying, listen, we're having two different conversations here. Remember what my disgrace is. My disgrace is what Southgate's done. He's freaking hung his that English player out to dry and fed him to the wolves and everyone's gone for him. And by the way, thank big up Arsenal Football Club, right? And I'll tell you why. I love that. Look, movie. look at the timing of the of the new yeah, the, the, the contract yeah. extension I thought and was look, hilarious. And, and, and pay attention to the video Arsenal made yeah. for his contract Very extension. Very important. Guys, right. listen to the goons at Arsenal, large up yourself because they triggered that one yeah. nicely. Can I just say as, as, that one as, nicely. A, family, as a as a student of, of marketing and a lover of PR and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Well played, Arsenal. Well played. They did a video where every Arsenal player just came out saying, what is Ben White to you? And they were talking about how great Ben White is. Just to just to really emphasise the character of the man. I love that. Yes, that was brilliant. absolutely. But, but however, I mean, I think, right. I think you got... You, Southgate, you, you, Oscar, Oscar, Southgate was a disgrace because he hung out a player to dry and fed him to the wolves. It's a frigging farce. It's a farce that he did that. It's a disgrace. <laughs> No, I'm not even joking. Adrian, I'm not even, being, I'm not even laughing, I bro. Know. He, I don't know. He took, he took the piss out of the player and he's hung him out to dry. Gareth Southgate is a disgrace. No question, no question, question, question. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you, let me ask you this. I, I can't speak on the whole Holland situation because I don't know what happened. Sure, you, sure. You've told me most of the story because you sure. seem to know more than me and but you also, haven't told me. But, but also, I don't think, so, it's, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's relevant either. I, I think it's definitely. It's not. 
I don't think it's relevant. It's I don't definitely. think it's relevant. It's definitely relevant. Oscar, Stop it, guys. Oscar, the, no, Oscar, the bottom line is you don't Fake news. Hang, Oscar, he hanged his player. No, but let me, can, I, can, I, can I get there? Oh, go, go, I, go. Sorry, go, go. Can I get there? Because it, the reason I, I think it's relevant is because it's simply this. Yeah. If you are England manager and you are no, you're going into a press conference where you've just released the squad, you're going to be asked about Maynou, you're going to be asked about Henderson, you're going to be asked about Maguire and all these players. And Ben White is another player who, for whatever reason, whether he was kicked out or whatever, he had a situation where he had to leave the last uh, tournament, right? Yeah. You're going to be asked that question. And the answer was not an answer that you had an opportunity to say a yes or no to. You were told... This guy who is starting for the team that is currently the top of the Premier League is not going to be coming to your England camp, the one before the tournament. Are you telling me he's supposed to go? What, what, what could he say? Like, either I'm not going to speak about it's a it, private matter. or, or I didn't pick him. No, we, it, listen, neither are true. You would have, you would have easily argued. Look, I, he could have easily said the point of like, I've got free right backs because let's have it right. Ben White weren't going to start any game. Right, he wasn't as much as you've just given that spiel right back of the team as top of the league X, Y, and Z. He was not going to start for England. We know that because there's Carl Walker, there's Trippier, and for backup, there's frigging Trent Alexander Arnold. Okay, it's a it's a frigging poison chalice over there. You're not going to mm. get in that side. But Oscar, what the guy, what the guy said, he did not have to air out the frigging conversation that right. he's that the fact that he said he said Edu called me. He said he, he literally said Oscar in the yeah. presser. Yeah, the guy says, Edu, Edu, calls me, Edu calls me and tells me he's not he's not available for selection. No, that Peter, tells you hey, the relationship between Southgate and White for a start. Okay, number yeah. one, and to, to send the friggin' sporting director of the football club, it's got nothing to do with Edu. <laughs> you know what it was? It's it's like a is pathetic though. Like for me, like for me, like if you're I so think it's both ways. Like, if you're so embarrassed to say the reality, and also like what the hell is Gareth Southgate defending it? It's a you're my fourth choice right back. You've you, you you've disgraced us in in an in international tournament. You've argued with my assistant, and then what in a press conference? I'm going to come and, and, and throw my cloak over you. And, and how did he dis- how did he disgrace yeah, you? Bit, huh? How did he how did he disgrace you in a tournament? Oh, you okay. left you left the tournament mid tournament to go raving in Dubai. <laughs> Bro, they had a bust up in the in the thing. They had a bust up in the just, camp. Just, just okay then. So, so, so just no, no, no. What I'm saying is, it's not a disgrace that he left. It's not a disgrace that he left. Maybe, so maybe, it's, not, maybe it's, it's maybe it's not tenable. Say for example, right? It got the, the, the situation got so hot with whoever it was because I think he mentioned another guy in the press conference that I forgot uh, what he does. I forgot the name and what he does. He never he mentioned some other guy that was in there, right? And I'm thinking. You know, clearly, let's say, for example, if the situation is untenable, it's not a disgrace to leave. Okay. Like, I'm not, I'm not really like, surely, you know, I'd be like, whatever the bust up is, surely you guys can work it out and crack on. Like, you're playing for England, crack on. Yeah, I was cool, right? Kids, you commend it. You commend it. But, you know, let us put the heat on Ben White for doing that. I'm sorry, the heat goes to now Southgate for what he did on the other night, the other day in that press conference. It was a disgrace. Now look at everybody piling in. Everyone's piling in. And Arsenal have, have had to turn around and be like, no, no, stuff this. What the hell are they doing to our kid? What are they, what are they doing to our player? Because he because, because he withdrew from the squad. He doesn't want to be put, even picked. Because he doesn't like what's going on in the England camp. It's a disgrace as a play for his country. Bollocks! Can I ask you something? All right, cool. If, if, if it is what you said it is, then why couldn't Ben White, as a man, address Gareth Southgate, the man, and say, you know what? I'm not too. I'm not necessarily too happy with the situation. I'm respectfully going to surrender my selection for this particular for this particular. And 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 to add, add context before you answer, Pete. Like, let we, we all understand, and I agree with your point that he's probably not going to be the first choice right back. Cool, we've established that whatsoever. Mm-hmm. One second. From from our point of view, it looks like, and it looks like that Gaff was still going to select him. So obviously, Robin, come no, on, no, no. No, come no, no. on. Let me, let me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> let me Be careful finish. what you're saying here. No, because he, if if Edu has automatically called him and said, "Listen, he's not available for selection," we don't know for sure that if he's going to come and say, "Listen, I'm not going to select him whatsoever." This is this is why care. I'm saying don't don't be fooled, Robin. But, like he's going to be selective for the squad. But then I, I I also agree with Adrian. You could have just told you don't have to. 
go around the third party stuff and all that stuff. Blah blah. blah. I hear your point, and I hear Adrian's point as well. I think both everyone is just being a bit childish here. Yeah, Bro, can't let's, not, let's not act like let's not act like Gareth has been picking this guy since Qatar. He's not picked no, him once. No. He's not picked him once. And also, so if you're if you're not being picked, rather than me even like waiting around, hanging around to see if I even get picked, I tell you what, I'm gonna take the matters into my own hands. Don't bother calling me for for a friendly. By the way, by the way, they're for friendlies this this this, mm. this round. Okay, yeah. don't call me for no frigging trip to wherever they're playing. Okay, I don't. I ain't got no time yeah, to be in a friendly and it, not play for England. If like, you're if you're gonna I do, I don't have a problem. Listen, guys, I don't have a problem if a player doesn't want to play for their country anymore. That I have no issue with. Right, yeah. and neither should anybody else. To call it a disgrace is too far. Okay, you can have your opinion and say, do you know what? Nah, man, play for your country, bro. What are you doing? Play for your country. I'm all for it. Oscar, they've come out here lining up one after the other on Ben White, all because of what freaking Gareth Southgate said in a presser. Nobody knew an a, an ounce. Nobody knew nothing until that come out. Hey, uh, hey, my, my response to that is simply this: Yeah, I I think. What you're saying is that Ben White has every right to be like, look, you ain't picked me for all these squads. I've had a bust up with one of the seats. I don't want to be in that mix. Yeah, I don't want to be in the mix, whether it's for football reasons or for non-football reasons. I'm not happy with that current squad. I think if that's the stance that you're taking, I don't think there should be much of a complaint when the manager comes out and says he asked not to be in the squad. Like, why is the manager saying that? Why is the manager? Because the manager is is, is going to be questioned about why he's not there. Oscar. But managers get questioned about a lot of BS all the time. And guess what managers do? They freaking cover their players. Even though... He's when not you get my player. He's, he's not a player. player. He's he's national or not. Whether you, when you get back to the training ground, when it gets back to the nitty gritty, they have they, they have their arms in it. They have their words out there. You look at the amount of managers that have covered players that we know the manager is not even happy with. And we get we sometimes might get that behind the scenes footage if it's an like all or nothing documentary, blah blah. Then you really then you really get to see how they really feel. Yeah, like. correct, correct me if I'm wrong, right? The whole state he, he dressed him, he dressed him in front of the public. I don't think you don't understand the weight of the England manager talking about a player not wanting to play for his country. You do not understand. I think it's too like I know it's sad, mate, and I know it's a little bit like you know, we, we don't mm. take him too seriously, even ourselves, but I don't think you understand the magnitude. You know what it will be like. Years to come, you know, like how Beckham had his documentary and we watched we watched the documentary recently and we started mm. looking back at some of the things that he went through in his life and we're like, you know what? That was kind of mad, you know? But yeah. at the time, you don't really feel it. Guys, yeah. you're going to look back at this Ben White situation where it was publicised that, you know, the, you know, I'm, bro, I'm telling you in a press conference that the freaking Arsenal sporting director is calling me. Are you all right? You're the England manager. And if there was one thing you there's one thing you could never argue against Southgate was the guy held him he was he was blameless he held himself in such a way where he was abs no like he was absolutely like the poster boy flawless he was very diplomatic look at look at how he came and backed uh, Harry Maguire through all the rough and tumble he came out there and he defended a a, a, a centre half who was playing garbage for his club right <laughs> and, he, and he he stood by him he was he stood knocking by people him. out in Greece. You know, I mean, you know, Pierre, you, you, you've you've definitely made me you've definitely made me think about it differently. I think maybe because I'm not so connected to Ben White, I didn't actually see. I didn't see a lot of people talking about this. I saw Paul Merson on Soccer Saturday, and yeah. I saw like I think I saw uh, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank was talking about it on uh, Chelsea game. I don't. I, I didn't see a lot. Like, so I didn't see it as this pylon. And especially football fans like us lot or football Twitter, no yeah, one's really yeah. gone on the pile, pylon for Ben White. No one's really... Go, go check like, um, Harry Redknapp's one and stuff, stuff like that. Go check what's, what's done the round since. Yeah, I didn't see I didn't see Redknapp's. But like... He you know, called it I'm, disgusting. I'm not... Redknapp called it disgusting not to play for England, not to play for your country. <laughs> but like, I do... Like, to be honest, I do understand why people feel that way. Because it's, the, just, the... it's, it's just too much patriotism. It's not real. <laughs> you, come on, Pete. Come on. No, no, bro. It's no, to, to, no, no, no. To play for your country is a big deal. Let's, let's it's huge deal. Deal. Listen, it's he's, he's, deal. he's withdrawn from the squad for not not even drawn, withdrawn. He's just not made himself available for the selection. Let's have it right for friendlies. Yeah, like it's it's too much. When well, 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 but friend, to do it for this friendly before for this friendly, friendly the, it's essentially... always we always say that this friendly is like the the important friendly because that's, that's, like, that's, 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 had, that's the only had, reason why had, people care about the emissions this year. We've had we've had six internationals since the World Cup. He wasn't selected for one. 
do me a favor. Do me a favor. And nobody said a word, by the way. Nobody said a word about Southgate not selecting Ben White, who's been so, arguably the best defender in the Premier League for the last two seasons. No one said a word. I said arguably. I'm not saying he is. I'm saying <laughs> arguably. No, but as in like, he, he, <laughs> he, he literally <laughs> argues for he makes, he makes the squad. He makes the squad for any other club and, you know, it, club and country. He makes the squad. Let's, let's, I, maybe people don't understand the magnitude. You, you, I, I'm sure it will land on your head soon. No, but I, I also, also, I think, I, also it's place. not, it's not even about the magnitude. It's more so we don't know the story. Like we don't know why he left that England camp. We don't know who the beef is with. Is it with? Yeah. And, and 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 the thing about Southgate is everybody and their mum knows Southgate is not the best coach in the world. He's not the best tactical coach. He doesn't always know what he's doing. He doesn't always pick the right squads. We all. Get on Southgate for those things. However, the thing that Southgate has done well as England manager is get the team together, get yeah. the squad on side, get camaraderie amongst the boys to the point where they all like each other. Like, that is one thing that Southgate has done fantastically well from an outside perspective. So when we see that there's a, there's a, there's a quote-unquote rotten egg in the camp, you think, oh, it's got to be him because there's no issue with any of them boys. So it has to be him. Yeah. And yet, yet we heard nothing. Taha says, why aren't you giving any criticism to White in this situation? What's the criticism for? The whole... He doesn't, to be, join the, he doesn't want to be there. Yeah. Um, Listen, everyone's got their own opinion and choice in life. I'm not going to call out... I, I can't critique a player for not wanting to play for his country. No, no. I, there's nothing wrong. I, I think... Yes, it's reasons. I'm saying he said, Why am I not giving any criticism? Because I don't have any criticism for his situation. Yeah, I, don't I, 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 I only have I only have one thing. I, I don't think he should have done the whole third party thing. Like with Eddie. I think that's just a bit like mm. No, no, like, no. I, 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 I definitely think I definitely think he's I'm more like just tell the guy, just tell him face to face. Listen, this is my yeah. issue. You don't yeah. need to no, but, no, you can't it. tell him when you ain't been in the squad for six for six times. You ain't been in the squad six times. What am I to say? Who am I? Who am? Who are you? Listen, you know you must. Like, if you feel Ben White, you think, who are you? Like, yeah. we're not mates. Off, if we're Eddie's actually not me. Who knows? Who knows? Like, what the Eddie situation is? Why? Why Eddie's involved in it? Who knows? Maybe yeah, no, that, 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 that that that's my issue. Whatever. That's my actual like like right. You could have done that better. But maybe, but maybe oh, Eddie's yeah. the one yeah. that's gone and called him. Maybe Eddie's the one that's gone and called him and said, "Yo, Reboy." Just so you know, don't even bother selecting Ben. He's not coming. Like, you don't know that it's Ben saying, oh, chat him for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but it has to be. It has to be. Come on. Mate, Ben's not even it's in the country right Ben's now. our intelligence now. Come on. Do you know what I mean? He's not even in the country right now. Him not speaking directly to the manager to attempt to fix this is an issue. No, but when Southgate speaks, it's an issue. Bro, huh? Southgate hotted him up to heart. We're not, I'm not, I'm not yeah, on about South, Southgate spoke to the media. There's a big difference. Let's be let's be real. I don't think Ben White has a relationship with Gareth Southgate like that. I don't think they're man chat. They're not boys like that. No, but no, why no. would you? Why would he be belling up Southgate to say, "Yeah, I don't want to come"? Like that, I don't think that's ever going to happen. But I don't see any man. issue with him telling Edu that because Edu is the guy that look. He's the relationship manager at Arsenal for those kind of players. That's a, you know, if you think of any any organization. You know, if you've got you got a HR person basically that you go to if you've got an issue with your manager, it's not you don't always go directly to the person that you've got the issue with. Absolutely. So, and, and and you know what as well? Sometimes you know what it could just be like a Ben White wasn't doing certain things that the coaching staff were asking him to do and all that kind of stuff, right? He might not he might have not been applying or complying with what the coaches wanted, right? Let's say mm -hmm. let's make that argument, right? Why does Steve or whoever have a problem? Yeah. Maybe because he wasn't behaving well or like wasn't mm -hmm. doing what he he had asked them to do. And his his behavior, as you can see, Ben White, you know how he carries himself. He's very nonchalant. He's very much like, bro, this is a job for me. This is not really like a like football's not my passion. Yeah. I love playing football, but I, that's what I, it is. I, I, I think also, that goes that goes against him in the court of public perception. Yeah, People don't and, like that. And, but yeah, you know what's funny? You know, you know the two managers that adore him the most. Two maniacs, one of them being Bielsa and the other one being Arteta. Now, if you think, right, maniacs that like this guy, then it's a classic case. It's like the Sancho situation where you're thinking, this is a classic case where a manager doesn't necessarily have to treat everybody the exact same way, with the exact same paintbrush. There's certain players that you may, just to get the best out of them, you may, you may alter and adapt to that kind of 
playing style or, you know, that kind of player. And, you know, you hear people like, I don't know if it was Red, Red Nap or people like that, great man managers, great man managers. I mean, you know, uh, Sir Alex, great man managers because he let certain players do certain things and, and got the best tune out of them. But if it's a case of like, you know, what seems to be like, oh, everything was very like rigid and Ben's not on it, he's not on it. Like, that's his choice, isn't it? He, he, he misses out for playing for his country. He misses out, right? But mm. I'm not going to sit here and be like, um, Southgate was clean until this time, bro. Everything else was all like opinions in terms of what squad he's got, what players he's picking, what tactics he's using. This, guys, was a disgrace. A frigging disgrace. He outed out one of his players and he put him on blast, telling, telling Mandem, Edu, Edu's calling me, telling me he doesn't want to play. That is BS. That right there. Excellent. Shall we talk about the other players that made the England squad? <laughs> I don't even care who's in the squad. Who who made the squad? I don't even know. Did Ollie Watkins make it? Uh, I, I think he did. Come on. I think he, he did. did. Yeah, because it would have been it would have been news if he didn't. I think. He I did. actually, I actually think he did. Uh, Wait, question: Did Dominic Solanke make it? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, no. One. Did Ivan Tony make it? Definitely not. So I've got sure. I've got the team. I've got the team. Exactly. I've got the team. So goalkeepers, Pickford, Ramsdale, Trafford. Ramsdale? Uh, Trafford? Yep. Ramsdale. yep. Yeah, Ramsdale's a shocker. Oscar Pop, Trapp. Yeah. Pop, Pop, Pop's well. been injured all year. Well, Pop's yeah, Nick Pope's been injured all year. So, yeah. what, happened to, what happened to Sam Johnston? He was in the he was forever in there. Nah, he was forever, but not anymore. Out of the old you, you don't rate uh, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't rate Trafford. Who? Center backs, no, I don't rate Trafford. Stones, Trafford. Stones, Maguire. Braithwaite and Gooky. Braithwaite uh, made the squad. Yep. No, he's good, man. And who? Who's the other one you said there at the end? I have a kind of pronounce his name. Is it, is it Gooky? Yeah, uh, Gooky. Gooch. Oh, Gooky. I can't. I so yeah. Oh, Marcus Gay. Okay. He's got. He's got. Yeah, he's got. He's got a French name. So I should don't know. That. But yeah, obviously your fullbacks: Walker, White, Trippier, and Shaw. Your white? DMs. Did you say White? Not Ben, the white. Yeah. Sorry. The yeah, trip, yeah. I don't know why I said white. <laughs> okay. I was just thinking of white, yeah. I heard uh, you say white. I was like, what? You made Scott. <laughs> no, 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 no. My bad, my bad. Uh, Henderson, uh, what you call it? Bellingham, your midfields, and then your forwards are Rashford, uh, Foden, and Harry Kane. Wait. No. Nah, hold on. Man. Hold nah, on. Man. Anthony Gordon made the squad. Anthony Gordon as well. Yeah, I thought he was injured for like the rest of the season. Gordon, what? yeah, yeah, he made the squad as well. I thought he got injured during the Chelsea game. Oh, did he? Yeah, so he let me just, but yeah, um, Henderson made the squad after ten losses in IX, By the way, so Tra that Trafford's, was the not, Trafford's not been called up. The keepers are Sam Johnston, Pickford, and Ramsdale. Oh, okay, I don't know why my list said Trafford. Cool. Are you reading the wrong thing? <laughs> no, also, no, I'm reading the right one. Also, I didn't hear you I'm mention on the England Watkins. page. Obviously, Watkins, I didn't hear you, I didn't hear you say Watkins or Tony. Did Tony Watkins make? and Tony are both in the squad. Where's Solanke? Right, do I have a wrong? Because I'm reading off yeah, Sky Sports. I'm looking at it from Twitter. England posted it four days ago. I'm so looking at Sky Sports. So even Sky Sports got it wrong. The forwards <laughs> are Bowen, Foden, Gordon, Kane, Cole Palmer, Marcus Rashford, Saka, Saka Tony, 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 and Watkins. Watkins. Yeah, no, I've got this list. No it's Solanke. I've got, a Sky, I've got a Sky Sports. I was like, Hold yeah, on. no, no Solanke for Tony is a bit crazy. The midfield is like to Belling Bellingham, Gallagher, Henderson, Madison, Rice. That's it. No Phillips. No. Oh, Phillips. no Phillips got dropped. He got dropped. Got wow, Adrian, uh, that was Adrian. Adrian, is so he's getting Jones fit? No, he's never, he's never fit, mate. But I'm, I'm surprised Elliot. I'm surprised. Well, I'm not really surprised Elliot didn't make it, but. That was one I'm maybe I'm yeah. out. I don't I'm care out. how well Man United. Oh, it's a Man United conversation. We're talking England, mate. We're talking England. Uh, <laughs> Henderson making it again is it? Is it a disgrace that Jordan Henderson didn't make it, guys? Yes, yes, oh, it is. Yes. Well, it's I, yeah. why, it is a disgrace. Why is he there, Robin? I saw why? your 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 comment. Well, your comment. You just mentioned it earlier about Kobe Mainu. Now, what I've what I've also just seen now is that Mainu is in the under twenty one squad. So yeah. there is, as in. His is less of a, a mission. It's more like, go chill with your age mates. Go continue to play well there. And they can observe you because you're still going to be at St. George's. So the truth is, think... yeah, he, he wouldn't go to the Euros, would he, Mayno? That's the truth of the matter. 
So I don't know. There's a potential. There's a potential that he would. There's listen, a potential that he Henderson, would. Henderson, no, but but, yeah. but Pete, why, why, is Hen- why is Henderson going to the Rios? No, I, Robin, I agree. I don't think Robin, that's your manager, isn't it? Not mine. Sure, He's man. not my manager. I've been cussing him all the damn year. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't, don't try that with me. The only, the, the only person on this podcast that has ever backed Southgate has been you. It was me. And guess what? Yeah. I've disowned him. I disowned him. <laughs> I've disowned him for what he did to my right back. I have disowned the guy, bro. Yeah. He can go. He's a bum. How can he bring Henderson, who's been playing football in a country you, where they let women gonna... drive in 2018? Then he's come to friggin' Ajax, where they haven't won in 10, in 10 games. Okay? Okay? Calvin Phillips used to make the squad. Oscar, wait, wait. Calvin Phillips made the squad for a year and a half without playing a ball for Man City. Okay? <laughs> then he goes to West Ham. He's, he's had about 180 minutes for West Ham. Albeit awful performances. He's been dropped. I've got Ivan Tony, who's been on a ban for eight months. For eight months, Dominic Solanke carrying Bournemouth on his neck. Okay, he doesn't get in the squad. He doesn't make the squad. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Pete, you said you said you're disowning Southgate. Yeah, he's gone. Are you going to tell him that? Are you going to get a new set for you? Yeah, I'll get, I'll, <laughs> I'll get Richard Garlic. Like, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're asking what does Hendo bring? I mean, we could have had this conversation in any of the last... About eight, about eight, about what eight does years. Henderson bring? <laughs> what does Henderson bring? Uh, nah, even his old, guy, it's, yeah, it's, come on. it's no longer. Yeah, he's you know what? This old, do you he know his captain only, in an Ajax dad that got slapped at Villa in the only, 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 in, only this nation would be in a scenario like this. It's only us who do this. We have a sick squad, but the manager is terrible. That I've been saying that for a year. A year and a half. Uh, I think our good. I think our squad is good. I think, I think it's the minutes. it's the it's the closest one that can challenge France. Okay, and question, question, Portugal. question. All right, let, now let me ask you a question. How many how many changes do you make from this squad till the the Euros? Tony doesn't need to be there. Tony has done all right since he's come back. He's I keep, I, I'll, be, I'll there. be real. I keep, I keep Tony there. Yeah, he got yeah. his quality, man. I mean, he's fit, I'll man. keep him there. Um, I don't know, Oscar. I need to see the whole paper in front of me for me to even care again because I've stopped caring now after what he's done. I've stopped caring. I know. So I know, I'll yeah. probably get there when we when we the week of the tournament. I might care, but what what he done was a fast up. To yeah. our, to our boy. like I said, England. Well, we'll talk about it when we get to Euro seasons anyway, but England in general should be getting to the final. Also, why should they be? Why should they be? Why do you think we're better on than paper, Spain, France, and all these? On paper, they're the top three. On why? paper, they're top three. Why? What makes you say that? Better than Spain. The only other people that they could that's better than them on paper is France and possibly Portugal. Spain's a good side, mate. Spain's a very good side. Yeah. I'm just saying, isn't it? But I think England's better. I think England's top three. I like you, how you say they should when England don't really. I mean, okay, recently they've been in final and semi final. Fair enough. They should. But you know, like, I'm, but you know, like, I'm, I'm, the heritage of football. You know, like, you see, like in the Champions League, for example, Arsenal, are, we're, 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 we're like infants again, right? And you've got a team like Porto who are seasoned in the last 16 of a Champions League. Absolutely seasoned, right? Like, you know what I mean? That's it's, zoom in it's a not, little bit. You got you got to zoom in, boy. Someone else to zoom. <laughs> if you click into it and then you spread your trackpad. Is that like bigger? That. No, so click onto the photo and then it's not a photo. It's, it's a link it. to the bloody uh, website. Spread, spread, spread on your trackpad. Just spread your. Spread, spread your <laughs> Serious. <laughs> really <laughs> Aaron Ramsdale, Lewis yeah. Dunn. Yeah, so I should have done this wow. ages ago. <laughs> wow, G. Bellingham, Callagher. I mean, Madison is he fit? Is Madison uh, fit? Yeah, yeah Madison's fit. He, he just watched football. No, we, we need to talk about Spurs anyway. Spurs, we'll like, last in a minute. Spurs games. Mm. Yeah, but my, my quick question uh, uh, oh, just, oh, just one, one or two players. Anyone you see here that shouldn't be here in the summer or anyone missing? I think Grealish is missing, he'll be in that squad. Um. Anyone else um, that you think will be in that squad? Come scroll, scroll down a little piece. What do you mean, scroll down? Oh, I, 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 I can't see Kane or nothing like that. Oh, sorry. 
Yeah, yeah. Now? Get, get, rid, get rid of the yeah. comment because the comment was in the way. That's why I can't see the comment. Pierre, can you do that? Oh, for flip's sake, Oscar. Mm-hmm. Here's the I'm thing, yeah. You. I'll be can I can I can I keep it a buck with you, man? What? There's a player in that forward line that needs to go. Who's that? At least go. His name Anthony is Marcus Borders. Rashford. His name's freaking Marcus no, Rashford. No, no, it's not going. Taking Rashford to the Euros. Get you get are. Him out of here. Yes, you, you are. You are. Get him out of here. Get him out you of here. He's taking Rashford to the Euros. Get him out of here. He's, he's playing. Been... He's playing. He's, he's playing left wing. He... Any one yeah. of those lot. Take your pick. I, I'd have personally. Take I'd have. Pick. I'd have. I'd have Foden left wing ahead of Rashford. But Rashford has to go. No, Rashford. You know Foden's Foden's playing right. You know that for sure. Oh, just no. playing what? Right. Not ahead of Saka. Have you heard of Bakayo Saka? Have you heard of Bakayo Saka? Saka, Saka, Saka will start on the bench like last time. I'm telling huh? you. What? Impossible. No. I'm... T- Listen to me. This is what Saka <laughs> said in, in Qatar. No, you're wrong. You're wrong because he didn't do that in Qatar. He did. Saka started every game in Qatar. He, he, he played against France. He played... Saka started every game right he wing. He played against France. Foden, Foden, oh, started, Foden started the last Euros... The first game Foden started on the right, he got benched for Saka, and Saka took his place. Hmm. Saka started every game. You think you you won't do this again? Saka's the most nailed on position in this England squad. Him, Kane, Rice. The thing is, and I keep saying this, the biggest issue, the biggest issue is, I'm not saying your thing is wrong. I'm saying, look who the manager is. What? No, but I'm going by what the manager's done, Robin. The manager's played Saka. Like, Foden doesn't start for England. I was saying this two weeks ago when I was when I was going back and forth with Ernest. I was like, Foden does not play for England, bro. He he doesn't get in the squad. He will. He's, he will. He's, you know, he, he'll get in this time because he's playing really well for Man City. But he'll get in at the expense of Marcus Rashford, not Saka. I mind him. Have, have we done a Have we done an exile? Uh, we need to do that. Maybe oh, next we'll week. Save it, we'll, we'll, we'll save it for like the international. Break Maybe on the international break. Yeah. But let's uh, we spend a lot of time there. Let's let's uh let's move on to greener pastures. <laughs> Yeah, England England pissed me off anyway, oh, so yeah. Unbelievable. Other scores in the Premier League. Tottenham Hotspur game. Tottenham get battered everywhere they go. The funny oh. thing is, yeah, have you seen the shock and surprise in Jamie Redknapp and, and people like that? Where they're like, oh, wait, where did this come from? Don't tell me this is Tottenham. It's like, where, yeah. what have you not been watching? <laughs> this is the thing I can't understand with certain people. They, they, they act like they don't know. Yeah. These football clubs, Tottenham are a joke, mate. Let's have it right. Um, yeah, Tottenham losing. What was it? What did they lose? Three, three nil at the cottage. Fulham, Fulham, Fulham. Fulham. <laughs> Wait, you, ever, you ever go down there, Robin? You ever get a, a little ticket and fly down? Nice. No, nah, do you know why? Because every time Fulham become up onto the Prem, their prices triple. <laughs> yeah, I heard Not something okay. silly about their tickets. Their tickets are, yeah, they're, are they're, bit, they're, they're, they're not serious, they're a bit smelly. Um. Anyway, that's fair enough. Uh, so it's, it's the international break now, isn't it? Really interesting. Yeah, man. That's yeah. a shame. Uh, but, um, Bowen, Bowen getting the score against West Ham. West Ham, yeah. West Ham won yeah. all with, with it Villa. Yeah, with yeah. Villa. Villa, Villa getting the the score in the last second of the game. One one. Yeah, Zaniolo scoring there. Burnley beating Brentford two one. Brentford, man, you're sliding, brother. Brentford are sliding, man. They are sliding. If they're not, if they're not careful. They'll be right in. I think the five FPL, FPL was a disaster, but I still got average points. Yeah. Um, I used my free hit already, so that was like I am not spending like forty-two points for one week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the L and crack <laughs> on. move on. Uh, <laughs> move <Luton> on. <laughs> Luton Town one, Nottingham Forest one as well. Um, yeah, it was a pretty much of a, a bit of a you know not boring, but a bit of a boring. Uh, uh, you're so funny about that game. Go on. How can Forest drove the team that's below them in the weekend <laughs> and on Monday they're now below that team? It's, it's, mad. it's mad. By the, man. By the way, Van Dem, a team that's escaped hellfire today is Luton Football Club because we haven't <laughs> spoken about them being 3 0 up at Bournemouth um, in midweek. Yeah. And then they're so lucky it was a Champions three. League night. They're yeah. so lucky. It was underneath. It was underneath. It was, oh. <laughs> Under the radar. It was so low key. It was so low key. Uh, they, they, they can pack their bags and all, by the way. Listen, yeah. Luton, man. People love talking about them. Oh, Luton, this, Luton, that. Guys, they're mucking about, you know. I can't remember <laughs> the last time they won. 
Good well, time. They, 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 they have another lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the <laughs> I'll tell you what, if Luton, Luton surviving on because teams are getting 10 point deductions <laughs> in total, blood. That's how Luton is surviving in this league. <laughs> Oh, dude. It, was, it was 14 before the reductions as well. So, man, them lot, as, as it stands, if, if, if you could like, lock in a team now, who do you man reckon is going down? As a first, I think the first two are pretty much set, but the third and final team, who do you reckon? Just to give, just to give people some context, let's let's uh, let's share this, shall we? Let's put this right, on. technology, man. Let's put this I, on think, um, I, I think it's 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 goodbye for Luton Town. Wait, wait, it's, it's enacted. The... Yeah. Oh, this morning, like oh, today. This like, morning. Nah, nah, because I checked this afternoon. It wasn't live. Nah, nah, it, it's it's oh, in today. It's in. in. Nah. <laughs> live and direct. It's those are your. No, those I, are your I, I think. I think. Um, I think Luton still go down. Um, I think Forest just have enough to win games, and I don't see it from Luton. Luton are playing good football, but they Not they're entertaining Everton. us. They're entertaining Everton. Everton have enough as well. Everton still got a game in hand. And they'll pick up the odd point here and there. They'll get more draws than Luton will. Oscar, well, well, I mean, what about your mates? Um, what's it called? Uh, Brentford. You know, look at them. They're you definitely know, not my mates. I can't stand them. You can't stand yeah, Brentford. I can't stand, I can't stand Brentford either. I mean, Thomas Frank, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. He is the one I can't stand the most. Just the cry baby cr- all the damn time when he, he loses. Do you, know, do you know what's so funny? Everybody, once Forrest was sanctioned, everybody was talking about Everton sanctioned. It's like like they didn't already have one. <laughs> people, people want more Everton blood. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, they would be, because oh, if you take away four points off them, they would be level on points with Forrest, but with a better goal defence. So. Mm. Yeah, so, so they're due another sanction, right? They're due another one. No, but come on, at what point? So like, Mando, let's say like the season's finished, right? 38, 38, 38, 38. Can a team be deducted points after that point? Yes, they can. In, in the, listen, we're Serie A right now. Let's call it what it is. We are Serie A um, right now. Uh, what you call it? Um, Nottingham Forest have up until the end of April to, to ask for a, uh, what you call it, a review. But then even the review, they said that the review won't even come back until after the, the season ends. So... Wait, what? So, Yeah. It's just corruption, man. And, and see, <laughs> I, I think, guys, I think Sheffield United will, will be ranked as the worst team in the Premier League history over Derby. Derby. What yeah, you they're, gonna, they're gonna because they're gonna concede 100 goals. League one, where's how, how many Derby? <laughs> if anyone knows, I, don't know. I, can't, <laughs> I, can, I can go to it. Derby, I'll have a look. You talk amongst yourselves. Um, Derby yeah, down down so 100 is crazy, they're gonna concede 100. In 38 games, what's that per average? What's that per, per, per game? Uh, that mm-hmm. yes, two and a half off the top of my head, or 2.3, something like Is that. That is Derby conceded 89. They'll beat that, they'll beat, they'll beat that. No, but and guys, you know, you know, 11, 11 points is crazy. <laughs> like one win, <laughs> they got one win. 11 points, yeah, all of, all of the above. But here's the thing here's the, here's the, here's the nah, 11 points is insane. Oh, because yeah. Redden put up a good fight, Birmingham put up a good. Oh, come on, 11. Look at Fulham surviving on goal difference. Bloody hell, three goal. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. Leroy, Leroy, Leroy. Must be kicking himself. Leroy, Leroy, Leroy. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So, like. Yeah, I think I think Sheffield United are going to do worse. 89, they're not far off. They're like 15 behind that now. And there's 10 Premier League games to go. <laughs> Sheffield United are going to go uh, like Liverpool, Man United and Chelsea. Jeez. Um, Have they? Yeah, Lola, I heard that. I heard something about Leicester getting a points deduction if they come back up. I heard something about that. It's looking like yeah, a big issue now. Yeah, Leicester might Leicester might get a points deduction still, but yeah, I think they will concede. Anyway, uh, let's wrap up, guys. Um, the goal of the week. Who's your goal of the week? Uh, Trickomani, no, Noni Madawake. Yeah, him. Oh, Noni. <laughs> <laughs> you know his name is actually Chukwanonso. Chukwanonso. Oh, maybe that's yeah, what you were saying. That's where he gets the Noni. 
like took my nonso is his name, so they call him Nonny for short. Maybe that's that's where. Uh, yeah, I remember Nonny's Oscar. Name. I remember I texted you. Do you remember when I texted you? I was like, Yo, how you how you pronounce my man's name? Because yeah, uh, yeah. they when they came to the Emirates last season, I was like, Wait, this Don here. How do you pronounce? Yeah, you my just name? say Nonny, man. You just say Nonny. I like the kid, um, man. Good, good, good baller. I want to go with uh, Steph Mavadidi. Uh, I thought I thought his strike was a uh, sumptuous. Go to the week commentary player. Which commentary player scored a banger? I swear he all scored tappings. Coventry. Mm. I can't remember in the Wolves game. I can't remember. It's all a blur. It's Goal like, of the week is by far Noni. Not um, not 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 Mavadidi. But Mavadidi's goal was great. It was crazy. And Noni, it was... The, dip, the dip on Noni's finish yeah, was just absolutely. Amazing. Come on, guys. It's actually had a good finish, to be fair. Uh, yeah, just, oh, the last minute one, just, yeah, the last minute goal from from Cov was good, yeah, but it's not better. Nonny's to me though. The Sassy, the own goal was brilliant. Nonny goal deflected, piss off, did it? Yeah, yeah. Nah, that loop wasn't natural. Uh, I didn't want to watch it back. I didn't want to watch it back. <laughs> but so in, not... my head, in my head, it went straight in. I don't know. Two thousand and four, Xabi Alonso scored a free kick against Fulham. I only realized like 15 years later, I took a nick of a couple of people Diop. I was fuming because I thought he hit that clean. And then I, you know, on Twitter, where it shows you the different angles that I see. Nah, bro. I saw the same big deflection. No way. I thought it was straight in. Bro, bear in mind, that dips on that short because it goes. Yeah, but like, look how it I saw the hates money as well. He hates. Nah, he must have been watching. He All right, go of the week. Go of the week. Come on, guys. I'm going Mavadidi. Let's let's I'm vote. Going, I'm Quick. going Nani. I've answered your question. I've spent Nani as well. Ad. Yeah, yeah, Nani, man. Nani. Okay, Nani's the Nani's the goal of the week. Who's the player of the week? I'm mad. I'm Why? mad. Scoring Why? the winner he, at Old Trafford he, against Liverpool. He came on, he done goal. his thing. Yeah. He didn't scored even start. the winner, and he. Do you know what? He got. He went off the pitch and had Iftar. He got sent off. (laughs) (laughs) Player of the week. Player of the week. Player of the week. Give me a frigging favor. (laughs) I'm going to give it to Ben White. Player of the week. (laughs) Um, I'm mad. Manu was excellent. I can go. I'm, I'm mad. Ahmad was both. How good was it? Both. It was involved in the only sending off. <laughs> how good was Mayno if your team concedes three? That's just me speaking ignorantly, obviously. But how how good it's was because he? Because he's surrounded by bums. <laughs> yeah, nice. was, he, was, he, was he actually that good though? He was, he, was he, was he was off. He was off. By the way, Play, player of the week Rodrigo Munoz. That's that, that's the correct. Oh yeah, Munoz had a great had a great week. Like, he, he's player of like the year. What the hell did he, he come from? He's been so good, isn't he? He's been really really good. <laughs> All right, let's vote quickly. Let's vote. Because Brozier went on loan. Can't get a game. (laughs) Can't get a game. (laughs) Can't get a game. Yeah, man, I'm going Moonies, bro. All right, I'm going Moonies. Let's go Moonies. Come on. Democracy. Democracy. You guys win. Yeah, Moonies. Okay, fine. Uh, Team of the week. Coventry City, surely. Oh, yeah, Cov. The Cov. The Cov. Huh? Coventry City. It should be United, but. I think it's it should be United, but I'm just gonna Why throw should up. it be United for winning an extra time at home because it was a fantastic game. This is it, was it was a great game because I was actually I was actually gonna say Fulham, first of all. Yeah, of Fulham's a great three, shout. Um Fulham's a great shout, but Kov, come on, but, man. But anyway, Kov, I was actually okay, I was nice, gonna say, nice. did you did you hear about the third division team in Germany? Like their FA Cup, the DFB that knocked out another Bundesliga giant. No, so they had knocked out in their FA Cup by Munich and Track Frankfurt, and now what you call it? They're munching black back on the way. They're now in the semi final. Like, they lost, they lost mental. Alonso. They're going to get, they're gonna get knocked out by someone like Damos Gat. What's that team called? No, they're facing Alonso Darmstadt. now. Darmstadt. Oh. <laughs> so they're facing uh, Bayer Leverkusen in the semi finals. So shouts to them. Alonso's unbeaten by Leverkusen. <laughs> oh. Leverkusen are like Gunter, man. They just they just can't get beat. Brother, I, I, they were like two one down against Carrier Bell in like the ninetieth minute. I'm like, ah, right, cool. Like you, you, oh, Jabi is not looking. And then all of a sudden, I see they won what three two. Yeah, man. Hey, Hammer's got something for them, man. Shit, you know what? That comment, that, Oscar, that comment of um of expressions, that line was phenomenal. That kill. Ex- Ex- Expressions is, is one of the greatest to ever do it. I don't know how he still got it. Like, how does he still do it? He's brilliant. He reminds me of The Rock. Like, every bro, week, 
It's great. <laughs> he is the rock. Oh, yeah. man, by the way, like, like the rock, maybe not this week, but the rock needs a segment, man. Just he just needs to pay, give up. Well, it's, it's international it's next week, so international next week. So it's 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 one of those like it's no holes barred type of pod. You you know just what chat about whatever. Yeah, yeah, man. The rock, the rock should get his flowers next week, bro. Um, Okay, and who's not that guy? So, team of the week is Coventry City. Who's not that guy this week? Yo, Klopp's a big guy. He's a big, not that guy. He's a loser. Why are you you calling the commentator? Not the commentator. Why are you calling the interviewer fat? He's not calling that for. He's calling him fat. He He said, You are obviously not in shape. What is that meant to mean? (laughs) Tell me yeah, what that meant to me. It meant, it meant for, it for, meant. The, for, for the philosophical <laughs> manager type people that he that you know your questions are not fit. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Oh, 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 That's one. You know, you know exactly what he meant. He didn't mean his way. You are, you are. If he did, he was saying, "Look, you're you're questioning why the players weren't running in extra time. You're obviously not in shape." Yeah, that's what he was saying. He's not that guy. You're sat here telling him, why didn't my players run hard enough? Look at you. <laughs> How about you get on the nah, treadmill? He didn't, he didn't mean that. Like, surely no, not. He called him fat. I'm going to tell this with you, man. If that's the context, rightly so. But these guys have played 19 <laughs> games. They have to ask that. Have, 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 have Yaliet, after every game, have Yaliet is almost collapsed in the, in, in, in the middle of the field. Oh, yeah, no, so. yeah, but, but, uh, Adrian, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm sure you can admit this though. Liver, uh, look, Jurgen Klopp's a crybaby. Yeah, he is, he is, he is, he is. He's a massive crybaby. And I think yeah. a lot of Liverpool fans like that about him because it shows that he really cares. Um, but yeah, he's a crybaby. Now, sometimes Lone sometimes says, it's a bit much. Like I remember there was a time of the African commentator, like African um announcers, journalists and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit mm. I just want to go back in time and say Jurgen Klopp did not mean any racism when he no, did that. No. But I loved running with the joke when it was live. I ran with that to the hills. Klopp's a racist. Oh, I loved it for about three weeks. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, massive he, was, he said, oh, yeah, we have this little Afcon. It's just another thing to add on to the list of things. And the, the, <laughs> uncle, uncle came and said, why would you belittle the, the nation of Africa? <laughs> the <continent> of Africa? <laughs> <laughs> uncle yeah. came and took it next. That, uh, that was a Twitter agenda loaded. Oh, said, why did you... <laughs> <laughs> it's the way he even responds to it, though. It's, I, it's I brilliant. Klopp was like, what? Are you seriously calling me? Yeah. He, he literally was like, wait, Are what? Are seriously what? talking about that right now? Klopp's <laughs> uh, brilliant. brilliant. He's brilliant, but he's not that guy. Another people yeah, that's not the yeah. guy. The Arsenal oh. women's team. No. What's Lola, happening Lola. here? Come to the Lola, come to the forefront. What's, what's going on here? here? What's going on here? What's going on here? <laughs> I love um, getting socks. You don't know wear socks every day, like in life. Yeah. Somebody that's <laughs> not Peter. Life. Somebody that's not Peter, I want you to answer me this. <laughs> what, what, what was the score of that game? <laughs> the score was 3 1 to the Chelsea. Okay, good. Because, because the point I wanted to make was. Don't you find it so sad that this wonderful game has been overshadowed because the bloody kit man could have packed proper fit appropriate <laughs> socks, fit and appropriate socks for crying out loud. No, it's, it's basics, bro. It's Can basics. I say this though? Can I say this though? Basics. Well, so, yeah, go on, it's not. It's nothing to do with the ladies. Like they've done so nothing the, wrong. Here's yeah, the thing, the though. Here's the thing. Wait, wait, the ladies. Wait. The ladies warmed up in the white socks. Right, uh-huh. they warmed up. Right, they warmed up oh. in the white socks, and then they got to the tunnel. Right, and then that's when the referee checks everything when they're at the tunnel before they come out. Pitch like, like you know, that outside the dressing room. Yeah, and then decided, yeah, we're gonna have to pers- we'll have to delay the k- kickoff. Like, well, question: it, 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 Why couldn't Chelsea just wear other socks? Because they're the home team. They're home. It would be a d- disrespect. But- but also, it's like you know, you know, Chelsea made made us buy your yeah. away socks from the mega store. Yeah, because uh, that's what well, you're gonna take our revenue. <laughs> take your revenue. <laughs> yeah. No, because because let's be real. Let's be real. We've got a kit out your full squad with socks from our mega store that we were gonna sell. That's crazy. No, but like surely, surely you, you got some kit. 
And by the way, I've worked at a football club, yeah, two football clubs where we've had to print numbers on shorts for the away side because they haven't had certain kit oh, ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I was at Chelsea, we printed kit for teams. And when I was at Arsenal, we printed kit for teams, for the away teams. Mm. Like, it's it's not common, but it's not that crazy. Mm. It's happened. It's happened. It's happened. No, but, 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 do, you know, do you know what I find was so funny? Yeah? If you're a kit man, yeah, you've got three things to remember. <laughs> pack the shirts, pack the shorts. <laughs> And pack the socks. <laughs> How could you forget the socks? Okay, now, to be fair, listen, a kit man's job is more than that as well. Like, you've got the shin pads. You've got the it's the, the basics. It's the it's basics. basics. <laughs> it's the basics. <laughs> defending. Listen, <laughs> all, all the suit man socks. I know. No, it's... <laughs> But that's the thing. I, my, so my question was like, how comes they waited until kickoff to then delay the game? Because they saw them wearing the socks all warm up. Like they warmed up in them. They came in the tunnel in yeah, them. Uh, everybody warms up in a different uh, training gear. You know, what I mean? not the not the shorts not and the socks, socks though. The shorts and socks. Yeah, not, that's, that's not the time for inspection. The time for inspection is when you're coming out the tunnel. No, but it's not even like you're inspected. It's like, oh, you know, it's hang on a minute. Arsenal got white socks on. What's going on there? You know what I mean? Maybe, some, maybe someone did notice. Maybe someone did. Um, uh, but yeah, this, uh, your Twitter account. I was gonna say the Chelsea woman's Twitter account. Fantastic. Your Twitter account took that, ripped the absolute <laughs> piss out of us. They. What did they say? I don't remember. Just because like your socks, <laughs> London is blue. Yeah, they were like, oh, London I said that was fantastic. <sighs> yeah, it was not nice. It was not nice. And I, I think you had a tweet this morning or something yesterday morning. Good morning. And it was all the O's were footballs because you scored three goals. Oh, it was too much. Oh, I'm going to go on the Chelsea women's oh, game. It was too much. It was too much. Anyway. I, I bet I was going to the stadium with incorrect socks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was, Peter worked for the Chelsea. They didn't know. Yeah, man. I I Peter, you've got, you've got like a decade in the field, bro. Like, comfortably. Yeah. More than a decade now. Because I was there under Rafa. I was there under Rafa and then left under Jose. I pay you need like a proper park. You need like um, a <laughs> just dive. Yeah, you know I mean, just, what deep dive? What, like when I met Stefan on show, bruv, at, at the mega store, or when I met David Luiz's mum, or you, you, I, or the Broiders agent. When I met David Luiz's mum, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what's, what's actually like a you know if you like oh give me some like I don't know anecdote or whatever. I printed fifteen Kevin De Bruyne shirts for his agent at, when he was at Chelsea. All the Bruyne number 15s. That's we that's a word. We need a PR documentary. Yeah. What, yeah. What, 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 what did you call Honshaw a cheat? I, I, I didn't have the bottle. I didn't have the bottle. I met is, him. Is, is he a big guy? He looks like he was like 6'2. Huge. Huge. Like he's 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 built like a house. I was like, what are you doing in Chelsea? Like, why are you here? And he's like, Oh, my son supports Chelsea. Da, da, da. Mm. I was like, fair enough. Yeah. And I was, and, I, and then as I walked away, he's like, "Yeah, you punched the ball off the line and sort of walked off." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have the uh, uh, to stand there. A, 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 young, a young RTM podcast. Oh, no, oh look at him. <laughs> what's, 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 what's the other one? Um, what's the other one? Oh, I forgot what it's called now. Oh, I didn't about what past Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's, there's like another football, football podcast where it's Who's, like who is talking. Uh, yeah, oh, filthy fellas. No, not filthy yeah. fellas. It's like um. It will come to me. I forgot what it is. Like Jack has done one. It's like a proper deep one. You know the ones where it's like, it's like a. Oh, I forgot what it's oh, called. Oh, with, with James Humphrey. I think no, not not the high performance. No, 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 is, is it players? Players tri Tribune. Tribune. Tribune yeah. That's the one. Players Tribune. That's the one. Right. Uh, do you mind um, about? Do, final, do you mind know about football ramble? Do I, guys? I, 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 I feel. I feel like I? It all the time. Ad, have you not been clocking some of the things I've nicked from them? Oh, unbelievable! Really? Um, can I? Uh, what big? What big? Big? What's his name? The striker? The big one? Parking? Hang on, who? No football rumble. What am I talking about? Un no, sir. Under the cosh. Oh, what, Mister Crouchy? No. Under the cosh oh. is an amazing. But like, you, you, you'll be listening to like a, like a, like a. A, a, a midfielder from Swindon from 2005, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see them on my shorts, on my YouTube shorts. I see them a lot. Honestly, yeah. it was so, so it's good. I, I, think yeah. the, I think the keep the biggest player they've done is Kieran Trippier. 
Okay. Good. Good. What, what was harder, working at Chelsea or working at Arsenal? Harder in what sense? Like, that made you work harder. I'd say Arsenal. Mm. I'd say Arsenal. Yeah, it seems like Arsenal, you work your socks off. <laughs> That's the joke of the year. That's the joke of the year. Let's end on this. Let's end on this. Mitch Mitch. Yeah, I was going to say, Dave. Spinning heel kick. He's playing a week. He's playing a week. He's playing a week. He's the player of the week and he's that guy. Yeah. So shout out to the comments talking about Philly Fellas. I think Philly Fellas is one of the funniest shows on the internet. I was going like, to mention something because I just had really hilarious. Look. Do you guys remember the other top four podcast channel that appeared out of the blue? <laughs> they tried it. Well, they called <laughs> it. They, they said the top four podcast was there. Yeah, the channel. top four podcast. Get the hell out of here. That's what, I don't know why. That, that just felt racist. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> racist? I don't know. No, I because know. I had a look. Because you said podcast. That's like, hold on. They yeah. Does that channel still exist? It doesn't exist anymore. No, it exists. So, yeah. you know. it's, not, it's, not, it's not easy every Monday, you know? <laughs> <laughs> They're not here on a Monday night, bro. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Night, right. Listen, we, need, we need a new award. Not that guy What's and what that guy. I don't really understand that. Oh, or just that guy. Yeah, oh, who is guy. that guy? No, but that's, yeah. that's that player of the week is that guy. Yeah, player of the week is technically that way. No, but sometimes you might get like, uh, like uh, obviously, I, I knew he scored, but you might get like uh, Seb Haller, for instance. You know what I mean? Yeah. Someone yeah, else. Like, Speaking of that guy. That's what that guy Louis me. Walsh on Celeb Big Brother. I'm not watching Big Brother this year. He's not moving mad. You know, ah, like, uh, for some reason, crazy. At the so minute. I, 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 I saw like Jedward. Jedward came on my timeline for some yeah, random reason. On there? No, 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 no. <laughs> they came onto my timeline and they were just calling him out. Is they just listed Louis Walsh is a something like it was non PG, and they went for like ten tweets. <laughs> about yeah, this. Man, to, to be fair, because 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 I saw I saw the video of, of um, resurfacing of when he was touching uh, Mel B's bum on, on the on the couch. Yeah, yeah. very nice. Now and he was just doing it so like. No, but do you see? What, do you see the way she protested? Like she looked at the ref, like yo, like. It's not this. She looked at the ref, you know. No, she, bro. If you watch the clip, it's literally like she's asking for a pen. The yeah. way she looks around, like yo, this guy's grabbing me. No one's seeing this. <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah, that's a foul. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. Yeah, shouldn't be doing that. Shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> it is a that's foul. A foul. You're like, what are you saying, that, bro? That's right. a foul. Guys, that wraps up this week's top four podcast. You lot have been amazing, as per usual. It's the international yeah. break next weekend, so I guess it's uh, a podcast. If we're doing one where I mean, it's the WrestleMania preview show. That's what it's I mean. WrestleMania. We'll do, we can do another call in. We could do all that good stuff. And um, yeah. mandem, mandem, what are you man saying? What are you man saying? What? I need to put annual leave. What? Live, yeah? yeah. <laughs> I've already booked it, bro. I'm I'm already man, man. I've already booked it. I've 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 booked it. Monday is off. You know what? You've got Monday off. Hell yeah. Do you think I'm going to watch Cody Rose versus Roman Reigns at 5 a.m. and go to work at 8? Yeah. <laughs> I, need to, I need to make a move. He's holiday, though. He's holiday. That's he's holiday, man. Huh? Nah, it's the week no, after. No, no, it's week after. Week after. Week after. How <laughs> <long? Leave> Adrian. <laughs> Adrian, you should believe. He oh, thought he thought he thought he was, he was gonna get Manchester City versus Arsenal on the same weekend at uh, the Easter weekend with WrestleMania. It's too good to be true. It's too good to be true. No, no, All no, I know no, is that the Australian Grand Prix again is on the same weekend. Oscar, do you remember last year? Uh it's gonna be interesting. Peter you loves, watched it, I didn't watch it. Peter loves yeah, sports. And it had, and there was a red flag as well. So I, I was I was I was painting what, pain what, pain what was the red flag? Is the red flag like a red card? Like is it like no, it's star? like the race has stopped, in it? They stopped the race. So what, a what dangerous play, like what something crashed or yeah, there's there's either like a big crash or there's like it's too much rain or something. One thing after okay, another. Okay, okay, okay. Right, uh, so let's right. say for instance, this, this is a silly question. I know. Let's say for instance, for, for hypothetically, right? How many how many laps are there? Eighteen laps, seventeen laps? What in a race? Yeah, nah, yeah. man, you're talking for minimum fifty to like okay, seventy. So let's, so let's just say, right? I'm on lap twenty-seven and it's tyrannous yeah. downpour, but I'm yeah. in pole position. Yeah. When we restart, am I back in pole position or do we you start? Are. Yeah. When it's when it's red flag, yeah. 
as the as the grid ended there, they will resume from there. Oh, brilliant, brilliant sport, B brilliant. Yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, Mirage right, wants to know where we're watching See? WrestleMania 40. I, 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 I propose something. I need to know if the team are on it. <laughs> Ad, are you watch Drive to Survive on Netflix? Get, do yourself a favor. Get in there. Say you get into the Formula One. Get get into that, and you'll be on your way. I've you'll heard. Be, you'll be on how, your way. How, how long is it? I, I, I hope it's only two hours. No, so it's a it's a it's, it's a Netflix series, isn't it? So it's like it's like a half an hour to an hour episodes. Now, Peter, do you know what? I think something's wrong with me, man. <laughs> what now? No. I, I just can't series. I just can't do it. I just can't do I'm, it. Fair enough. Um, so I'm thinking of a sport. No, it is. When when is it? When is it actually? This it's the sixth and the seventh. It's the seventh of April. Six and seven. Three. My only issue with the sports parting is like it's gonna finish at like four thirty five a.m. Yeah, and that's, that's to go home. That's what I told you about logistics. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I need to. But basically, I'm just like, it's not getting home at those hours. It's just long. So long. My yes. game. But I'm but I'm going to bed straight after. So that's what I don't really care. But I'm out cold. I give you, man. Yeah, know. but like if you're if you're at home, you just sleep. You just turn over and sleep. And <laughs> you, man, I pick up bad, I pick up bad vibes. One no, one of the nights I have to do at home, but the other like whatever. I, whatever I, it's, it's Sunday. If you're doing it, I'm happy. To, I'd rather do Saturday. We go watch the thing on Saturday. Yeah, and then uh, Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday, uh, night. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I need to be in a space. No, I see Cody's finishes story, and I'm around. Oh, yeah, I like if, I if, if, if Cody. If I saw Cody finish the story, I'll just start hugging random people I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Cody did it. If Vince McMahon's in town, hopefully Cody loses at WrestleMania. Wait, what? Raw. With that said, people. Let's not. <laughs> Does he? No, man. Yeah, to finish the story. That's best for business, man. It is best for business. Yeah, finishing the story is best for business, yo. All right, on, let's, so let's discuss in the group chat and we'll check out the Twitter feed. Make sure you like check us on Twitter at Top yeah, Podcast. Mirad, I'll hit you up if we decide though. I'll yeah, if you decide to do something, just keep keep an eye out, keep tabs on the Twitter. Um <laughs> guys, until next week. <laughs> So what? It's about just gonna be refreshing the feed, waiting for the update. <laughs> no, I I was saying I'd actually message him. Oh I'd my god, actually have like DM. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next week. We'll be back again post WrestleMania and post international hey, football. What? Oh, what? Post what's the match, my guy? <laughs> Wait, what? WrestleMania, WrestleMania ain't next week. Oh, I literally just asked you, when is WrestleMania? I literally just asked you when is WrestleMania? You said next week. I, I, said, I literally said the 6th and the 7th. Yeah, seventh. you said the 6th and the 7th. Oh, we got a game, I think. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> like, you said it can't be on Easter Sunday. We can't give you too much. I thought it was the week before. I thought it was the week before Easter no. Sunday. That's why. No, right. April, April, April. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about it later then. All right then. Guys, next week. Peace. 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 Peace.